It's, <laughs> it is. It's the old bean. The baby bean. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Sorry for the late late start. We were discussing the old bean who was on the screen there. The baby. I mean, bean. I don't even I don't even know where your nickname of Bean came from when her name is not related to beans at all. But Nelly is like rhymes with jelly, jelly bean. Oh. So now I call her. So I call her the Bean. I see. So it was an evolution. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See the Nelly Bean. I mean, I think that. That, that's what that's what John calls her all the time. She says, oh, it's it's Nelly Bean. <laughs> oh, how's everybody doing? Sorry for the the I guess late posting of the stream. Uh, yeah, well, we, I mean, we've been like I this is like this is like my first break in like three days, basically, aside from <laughs> sleeping and eating and going yeah. to the bathroom and taking Sandy to the bathroom. Because uh, oh my gosh, uh, we we've been working on this episode. I know we, I think we said it would be out by stream time. Yeah, uh, but it's really close. Um, yeah. But I've got a little. Corey's done with his parts. Um, and I just have to finish up my parts. So sorry about that. Uh, there's just a little bit to go, so it'll probably go up either tomorrow evening or um, or like Tuesday morning. Yes. I, I see that, that uh, they're saying that Travis is too quiet. I turned him up a little bit. We'll see if we can fix him a little bit. Okay. Did everyone understand what I said at least, though? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sure they did. Um, I want to make sure. All right. So anyway, uh, you know, for the, for those that didn't know, the 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 episode is the the accessories we use the most. Yeah. Like, or the ones that we actually use the most. I don't know what the final like title on YouTube will end up being, but yeah, like that. might even have like, the most on there. They could be just like our, our favorite accessories. Well, or, I don't know. I, I like I like the idea though of like. But there's some stuff in there that is just well, like or like silly one-off mentions that aren't even really used. At least well, on my part. Sure, but it's also like. I mean, I mentioned a few things like in the context of like, well, I I don't really use this, right? But like the idea is, the idea behind it is like you know we've looked at so many things over the years, like what what is still relevant to us? Like there might be newer options for these things, but the options we already have, like we keep using. Right. You know, in some cases. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, ideally like either tomorrow during the day. And I mean, I think that this is kind of the beginning of hopefully we can expect like more regular episodes. I mean, it's the first yeah, episode well, that we've been in together. Yeah. Uh, in um, like, in like ten months, almost ten months. So or yeah, yeah, like nine months, like this year, I guess. I think that that happened, but but yeah, it's it, we're, it, it, we're we're we we we've got things in a more manageable place now, and we're yeah we're moving forward. And I think that um, I mean, the the channel turns ten uh, next Sunday. Oh yeah, that's right. So I so mean, we gotta do a special stream. Yeah, well, that's a, I mean, <laughs> I think you should just you should play Ducktales Remastered next week. Well, that's I mean, I mean, that's what you get for the five year, but I feel like it should be every five years you play Ducktales Remastered. I mean, you know, I, I I could always use a little bit of Ducktales Remastered in my life. Who could? Yeah. So maybe you do that. Is my volume still a little? Uh, I, I I'm adjusting it. I I'm I'm I have my guy. I have my eyes on the uh, on the levels. It should be good now. Hey, I wonder what happened. Um, I think I may have adjusted something in Discord, and uh, it's it should be okay. Should be okay. okay I can always adjust it. Don't don't sweat now, it. I don't guess. sweat it. Or maybe Nacho Man was trolling. You know, speaking of Nacho Man, 
It's not not the same Nacho, but you know, Macho Nacho. Did you see that video he did on the the Switch consoleizer kit or whatever it's called? No, I I have not. Uh, it, it, it's kind of tempting. I mean, I. They're just these 3D print shells. Like if I like, I would want to wait a while before doing it. Mm -hmm. Like I would like the kits to get a little more mature. Also, the only one that's out right now, like, is for OLED switches. I'm not going to do that to an OLED switch. Yeah. Um, but like the idea is, like, you don't need to solder anything. It's like it's all screws, and it just fits into this frame. And, uh, you can, it has like a, a fan on it and you can actually run an over, if you, right, you can you overclock. Know, hack and overclock a switch. This actually playing it in this kit with this extra external fan, like actually has it running cooler than a unmodified non overclocked switch, which is kind of kind of interesting like I, I like the i like the idea of that like i could see myself maybe doing something like that if like backwards compatibility turns out to be disappointing on like the switch 2 right you know like kind of like what i did is, when is, the 3ds is, came out um whatever we have to do to like, fight for the dream <laughs> right uh yeah with with the with the 3ds came out i didn't like how ds games looked on it I was like, oh, this is bad. So I bought a DSi, you know? Yeah. So like, it'll, it'll, like I can't see it as a wait and see thing. Like, oh, if it, if, if, it, if backwards compatibility is not very good on the new switch, then, you know, I can see myself doing something like that. I thought it was, I thought it was kind of cool. Yeah. All right, so, for the dream that, that you, you were, you were talking about that. Cause you, what, what did you, what did so you, I, I like, we what? use these splitters to like, uh, finesse and like, uh, remove HTCP. From this this company called a video a video links a video a video, and I saw like randomly I saw that they were selling like a like an eight way splitter like one to eight, and I'm like I'm just gonna is is like sixty five dollars I'm like I'm gonna buy it because I'm just like I'm I'm <laughs> curious as if it works and it did not work, uh, but I I was laughing because on the outside of this packaging. It was like, it's, it's, it says like the name of the company and everything. And then on the bottom, it just says fighting for the dream, <laughs> <laughs> which is but, hilarious to me. Like that is the, uh... because that's the reality that we live. <laughs> the dream, the dream is not easy. We're always, uh, we're always fighting. For yeah. The dream. Always fighting for the dream. But, the AV hookup dream is <laughs> not easy. Which means that you can split as many times, as way, many ways as you want, and it always works and does exactly what you want it to. In this case, it didn't recognize uh, any device of being capable of HDR, which oh. it, it, is, it says on the box that it does. Anyways, well, you I, know, the frame, the frame of it that you showed me the photo, it looked exactly like the old Monoprice one I have. Uh, so had. probably, yeah. But, I mean, that one was really old. I mean, that would have been, you know, HDMI 1.4 era. Right. So, pre, you know, pre-HDR. So, yeah. yeah I, don't, I don't know what the deal with that was. My, my mom price one, it, it just stopped working, like, sometime in the past year. Yeah. Uh, I saw that eight minutes ago there was a $5 donation from Dad1153. Thank you. Thank you. Saying hi. Anyone else uh, soaked to the bone on the East Coast? Hasn't stopped raining since Friday morning in Gotham. Uh, goodbye, summer heat. I assume Gotham is is New York City. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, not here in North Carolina. Uh, oh, I thought it was. I thought it would like was hitting around like the Outer Banks, and it would eventually like move in. I mean, like, not or maybe not. You know. Maybe inland in North Carolina, anyway. I mean, uh, it's uh, or maybe in, in I'm pretty good weather. Good enough, anyway. I mean, yeah. I don't. I mean, I've been working. I've been working on the episode all weekend. I mean, I'll most I, I haven't really been thinking about outside that much, <laughs> except when I take Sandy out. Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons I was like so, like I was running behind. I got that stream posted up like ten minutes before it started. Uh, we went to. Um, Drove out to this uh, place that had these ridiculous milkshakes. 
and pizza and stuff today. It's like, um, in Ohio, but like, you know, it's like, like an hour away from me. Uh, is it like a destination? Um, yeah, Even yeah. I mean, it's kind of like a gas station. It's called like Terry's, uh, uh, pizza and shakes or something like that but it's like a, it's kind of a cool like gas station slash convenience store but they also have like crazy pizza and these crazy milkshakes and uh you showed me pictures it looked like the milkshakes either had like whipped cream or ice cream or something coming out the top that was like made it twice as tall as the cup yeah itself. well <laughs> yes i mean there's always something on top mine had a giant uh, ice cream cookie, which was two big chocolate chip cookies sandwiching uh, vanilla ice cream. And my, my son's had an ent entire piece of cake. There's <laughs> 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 an entire piece of cake, like, in the top of it. I mean, if you look up this place, it's called, like, Terry's. Uh, you, you can, you can uh, find, you can, like, see pictures of this stuff, okay? So it's called. Um, let me let me get you the uh, Terry's Grocery and Pizza. So if you put it in, in the Google, put in Terry's. That's T E R R Y uh, apostrophe S. Terry's Grocery and Pizza, and look at those. And you showed me a picture of the pizza box, and it says grocery, carry out, and video. Yeah, I because you know that they like rented videos there back in the day, and I love that they never changed their. Their pizza, box. <laughs> their pizza box still says video. Yeah, um, but this the so we also got a pizza, and it had <laughs> instead of uh, like like pizza sauce, like marinara sauce or whatever, it had uh, ranch dressing. <laughs> oh wow! And it was like then it was like crust, ranch dressing, cheese, and pickles. Wow, that's... It, it was it was so good. It, it so I mean, it sounds weird, but I, I'm almost certain it would be amazing. It, it was. It was really, really. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, yeah. I mean, I, gaming blows is like, ugh. but yeah. I mean, that's exactly how you feel after you have it. But it's like I can't believe that this is. I mean, even half as good that it is. So. Uh, you know, I noticed that uh, the Joe Gamesack Joe said, uh, "Wow, the color on both Corys and Tri screens match. If you didn't know any better, they could be in the same room. That that is actually like our skin tone, like actually yeah. somehow." Well, I'm doing a screen like capture. I don't know if if my screen capture is capturing capturing my warm tone, the warm tone of the uh, the overlay that you hate so much of my. Um, what is it like the night shift or whatever it is? Oh, I hate it. Oh gosh, it makes okay. me. Well, like, that might be more. a reason it's happening. Anyways, I'm gonna play some GI Joe tonight. Uh, the reason I decided on this is that when we were driving home, when I was growing up, like if my brother and I went someplace, and uh, like like went out in the woods or something like that, like my brother used to always say, like, "Oh, this place, this would be a cool place to play GI Joe." Because if you it, when when if you grew up at the in in the time where GI Joe was like super super popular, you mm. would see these commercials and these kids are playing GI Joe on these huge like outdoor sets, mm -hmm. and they had these huge setups and uh, it was just like amazing, right? It was just it was just so cool, and so we just always think like, oh, you know, GI Joe, this would be a cool place to play GI Joe because it was like. In one of those commercials. Yeah, yeah. And I had mentioned that to my son when we were driving back. And I was like, oh, here, let me show you. And, like, the entire drive back, he watched old G.I. <laughs> Joe commercials for, like, 40 minutes on the way back. Um, and he's like, oh, man, like, these, this is, these are so cool. And I'm like, well, if you look in your closet, you probably find some of that stuff. Uh, but I'm like, you know, I'm going to play G.I. Joe tonight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a good game. Yeah. It's, um, is it Taito? Taxan. Tax Taxan. So yeah, I'm gonna switch over. Let me uh, the game volume. Sounds I like believe cool. the second one is not considered nearly as good. Which yeah, I don't that's the Atlantis that factor, right? Yeah. Uh, luckily, you know, I got this one 
before i mean it's pretty expensive now i think yeah i yeah. think i got this for like 30 30 35 bucks many years ago um there was also oh and it has passwords too so yeah and that's that's kind of nice makes, that makes things comfy and low risk you know i also have like some another story about this game because i had rented this cool when uh where I went to high school, uh, elementary was like um, kindergarten through six. And then when you went to seventh grade, that's when you went to like the junior, senior high, right? So in sixth grade, uh, I had, you'd, you'd go to the high school for one day and had like your orientation, uh, where you just like, you know, get a, you get a feel for what it's like at the high school. And I had rented this game during that time. And my brother was going to be a senior in high school. And my brother was like, he was like, oh, it's kind of picking on me and stuff. And I remember coming home after that and playing this game and him, like, starting something with me. And it was the first time, like, I fought back and I, like, beat him. Like, I had, I, I got him into, like, a, like a hold <laughs> and, like, made him submit. <laughs> and that was, like, the last time he ever, like, fought with me wow it was when this game was like playing <laughs> probably just sitting in the background playing playing anyways um there's there's we've, we've got several super chats i need to catch up um i'm actually gonna skip over eb chill uh eb chills briefly because th that one could possibly spur conversation okay um Okay. There was a uh, notification that Gaming Blows has been a member for 36 months in a row. Rock saying old. three years! Saying, three well, years. we did it, boy. <laughs> Boys, my work here is done. So in the words of Roy Batty, time to die. Please don't. <laughs> what? I said, please don't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, and then there was a 499 from a reluctant hero. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Saying, Corey, yes, I love playing with G.I. Joe's outside in the dirt when I was growing up. Yep. But you know, it's kind of crazy. Just, but just with the figures, I didn't want to wreck my vehicle. Right, exactly. You know, it's interesting, though. So I don't know. I think I I don't know if I talked about it on this on here or not. I think I did where I went and visited like my, my childhood home when I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when I had gone back to uh, when we were, went to Niagara Falls and stuff in the beginning of July. Um, anyways, I was talking to the, um, like one of the people living in my mom's house and said, oh, you know, we found like a bunch of your old toys and stuff like buried in the backyard, like GI Joe Ooh. figures and, and, uh, like other stuff. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh, that looks cool how those guys jump in from the foreground. Yeah, right? It feels... It's been a uh, while since I played this. I'm pretty sure I, I beat it on a marathon stream. Oh, really? See, I, I thought I, that you had a really hard time with the last boss or something like that. I do think... I, I mean, it, I mean, it's, it's not an easy game. Have you beaten it before? No, I don't know. I don't even know what to expect here. But if it has passwords, that makes it... Uh, yeah, that makes it not too scary. Yeah. I mean, it's it's been a good many years. I don't remember what marathon I played it on, and if, even if I did, I wouldn't remember which year that was. Yeah. Um, I think it was the Backwagery Marathon, but it could have been. Emily. I think it was Backwagery. But anyway, um, there was a twenty dollars super chat from Tinder Brew. Thank you. Saying it's officially spooky season. What better way than to pour a drink and watch the dudes play some classics? The Cheers. The dudes. The dudes. <laughs> dudes are back. <laughs> you know, speaking of spooky season, my, my mom my mom informed me that there's a that there's a, a pumpkin frosty. That sounds amazing. I mean, yeah. I'll have to try that at some point this spooky season. Um Oh, and then there was a two dollars from Jonathan Henson saying my, my Cowboys lost today. So I'm drowning my sorrows with the M League live stream. Well with the boys. 
With the dudes. You know, <laughs> I, I, I still think of that video you linked me years ago saying like, what what's better than this? Just, just guys being dudes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You're like, what's better than this? Guys being dudes. <laughs> um, then uh, to backtrack to EV Chill 2 with a $10 super chat. Oh, thank you. Saying uh, after the leak, I dusted off my 12 year old PC and started playing No Sun to Worship. Great game so far. Trying to acclimate to a possible future. <laughs> Have a great week, everyone. I'm not familiar with that game, but yeah, the, the Microsoft stuff was. That was pretty crazy, wasn't it? Like, did you follow that at all? I mean, yeah, yeah. It, so, was this like in response to how oh, that guy's just walking on air? Believe it or not, that guy is walking on air. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so is was that like something that they had to submit for? Um, I. I I don't fully understand what they had to do and what they didn't have to do, but the the result, what it was, was is some part, you know, it's I, I believe presumed to be some Microsoft lawyer accidentally attached something that was uploaded to some, um, I guess. I don't know, Department of Justice website or something like that. How do I... Where uh, oh. they attached files, and I don't think this one had to be attached. I mean, certainly not for public consumption, but this was probably part of the, you know, the exhibits in their, you know, um, in their, uh, you know, all the, the trials and tribulations of, of getting through the, the Activision Blizzard uh, approvals and whatnot, and uh, dude, that guy got in, probably got in so, in so much trouble. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm just thinking about like how much trouble he probably got into. But you know what? You know what? What? He, he won't do it again. <laughs> he won't do it again. You're correct. <laughs> Whether he's fired or not, me baby, you shouldn't fire him because now he knows what not to do, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't think he'll be all. He's he won't be all able to like get work ever again. He's. I mean, but like I say, he knows what not to do now. You might yes. want to hire this. But man. it's but it's, well, it's probably too late. Like he's just not gonna get hired again. Yeah, but but anyway, you know. So you know, bottom bottom line, these files were attached on a website. For public consumption where they ought not to have been and it was entirely microsoft's fault or you know rather one guy at microsoft and you know so it's got all this you know information about you know uh you know very you know personal emails uh you know that, that were sent internally you know a lot of people made a big deal out of the you know you know, Phil Spencer talking about, you know, wanting to acquire Nintendo. That's not going to happen for so many reasons. For one, that was like early 2020. That was before they had even bought um, Bethesda. Like it was close. It was getting dude. close, it sounded like, but that was before they bought Bethesda. And now that they, you know, went through all this big song and dance with Activision Blizzard, like there is no way they are going to touch anything anywhere close to that like, right well i seismic again i do think that they would probably uh if they had the opportunity to buy nintendo like it like it was like really a possibility like i probably i think that they would probably risk it uh, yeah, I, I feel I don't like think, that would be worth i don't the think risk it would go them. through though i well, don't it think probably it would wouldn't go through it. but i i i feel like they would at least try i don't know I don't, but I don't, I don't think, I mean, I just, I don't, I don't think that's, I, I, I think that's really, really, really unlikely, but you know, the, the big news there. obviously was, you know, the leaked slides showing off, you know, the Xbox series X refresh. That was yeah. probably the biggest news. And, 
you know, I mean, it's it's like not at all a surprise, but you know, the 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 big thing is, you know, it doesn't have a disk drive. I mean, we all know that's what micro the direction Microsoft wants to go. Um, but you know, it's it's possible that it's not the complete picture. I mean, we have to assume that you know, it's it's probably pretty final. You know, it's, it's the exact same hardware. Same price. <laughs> no, uh, no disk drive. Um, yeah. Which you know, I, a lot of people were kind of making fun of it for looking like a, like I think like an old like, like Echo the, like or the an Mac, old the, like the Mac, Mac uh, or something. But see, for, like, as like, someone who doesn't use like either personal assistants or Oops. Macs, like, I, like, it, I, that wasn't my reaction. I actually think it looks pretty cool. Like, I, I like the design. I just don't like the principle behind it of, of no disk drive. I mean, and the thing that stinks about so much is, you know, the best thing, by far the best thing Microsoft has done, you know, in the past 10 years has been backwards compatibility. Yeah. And, you know, removing the disk drive, you know, there was years ago, or maybe a year or two ago, there was like some patent for some feature that was like uh, g giving you access to play a disc version on a discless console by having the yeah. disc in another console. And that like has not yet materialized if it ever will. Um, but you know I mean what I would love is for them to say, and you can plug any like USB Blu-ray drive into it. Yeah, you know, and you can like that would be that'd be really really cool. Games now, I think that would be, be really cool. Yeah, and in fact, why not make it so that you could just install anything? Like if it was if it was exported in you know a uh, what do you call it? The the W what uh, W P T or what like that? You know that thing that 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 universal app format, right? U U W P Universal Windows. Oh, okay, yeah. Whatever you know, like like the emulators were right. Like if if they let you just install anything that was on a disc in that format, like that would like open up the the way for potentially lots of like homebrew and stuff on the system, you know, you know, you, you could distribute all kinds of things potentially that way. You could just install it. Like you would just be able to just install it on a PC. Like that would potentially be really cool if they would, if, if they would use that as an opportunity to really open up the platform. I, I, that's, that's probably really dreaming, but I mean, I think <laughs> fighting for the dream. Fine. Yeah. Fight for the dream. But, you know, it, it got me thinking about, <clears throat> you know, the 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 sad possible future of, you know, no no physical. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I I certainly don't think Sony is going to drop the disk drive this generation. You know, I I think there I believe there will be a PS. PS5 yeah, you think I Pro. Drop down there? I'm sure it'll have a disk drive. I think. I think. I should not. Physical media will remain healthy enough on PlayStation this generation. And I, I think it'll be healthy for Nintendo well beyond. Um, but if you know Nintendo is going to continue to be behind Microsoft and Xbox on on hardware, so if you know we get to playstation 6 or whatever and there's there's no physical media option anymore for playstation or xbox um you know i mean i I've, I've said many times you know when you know i've accepted this is happening eventually when it does you know i'll, I'll buy a lot fewer games you know I'll, I'll probably mostly only buy like the things that i that like i know like i really want to play or you know they're like the big series like you know resident evil or whatever right yeah, like Resident, the new Resident Evils are, aren't going to be on 
next you know nintendo system unless like it becomes even more scalable in the future so um you know where, where am i gonna play like resident evil or final fantasy or whatever and it, it, it got me thinking like you know unless um You know, it, it, unless there's something really compelling about, you know, the, the the PlayStation or Xbox platform in this future, you know, unless they one of one or the other has really compelling console exclusives, um, like I'm not in any way invested in either storefront, right? Yeah, and I'm not. I mean, I'm not very heavily invested in Steam either. Moderately invested in Steam. Um, but I, I've, I've not been invested in it at all for quite a while. Um, and, like, so, like, basically, I'll be in a position when those platforms launch to make a choice based on what seems like the the best place or the best best thing best platform for me going forward you know mm -hmm. you know I, I i there would be nothing in terms of you know any loyalty hold, keeping me beholden to playstation xbox or steam when it comes to digital games you know i'm i'm definitely most heavily invested in Nintendo and PlayStation when it comes to physical media, but when it comes to digital media, you know, so, you know, I'll, but, but, you know, again, I, you know, I, I don't think I, I would play like a lot of like more like experimental sorts of games or, you know, smaller things. Like I would, I would mostly go into my, you know, really dig into my retro physical backlog and you know just here and there buy like a, a, a big new game but it's not going to be like something that i just buy a lot of stuff for i don't think when that happens yeah it's but uh, it's know. complicated i guess like i it's not it's not that complicated i guess but <laughs> it's just it's so i mean i like i feel like i have more than enough to sustain me for life right right so i'm i'm not i'm not like that worried about it but it's just like it's just like okay but i'm not gonna like just stop playing new games entirely i think i'll play a lot less new games yeah that happens. but um but you know so i guess my point is i i don't know yet whether i would it would depend on what they're offering at the time you know yeah, they, they've got, you know, they've got, you know, several years to prove, you know, OK, it, it, it is is my digital future going to be better off with with, you know, Microsoft or PlayStation or Steam? Or whatever. Yeah. And, and, and Steam is probably the right answer. But but who, but who knows? You know, who knows in terms of like, you know, you know, you know what? Down. It, it depends on what the hardware, what the, uh, what the oh, game play and you know system menu experience is like. You know, the, you know, or and and you know potentially exclusives. Even though that's becoming much less and less of a thing. Dude, look at this thing. This thing is awesome. It's, it's a like little Nelly. Change. What? It's a little Nelly. Is that what that is? Well, I remember I was telling you last week about the gyrocopter. That's what it's, oh, okay. it's <laughs> called in the... Uh, it's a little bean. Uh, uh, and uh, you only live twice. Danger, yes. <laughs> it was a $2 super chat from Warren Hokey saying, adorably all digital. Who thought that was good? You know what that made me think of? It, it, it sounded to me like, like something that would have come, something that they would have come up with in, in the Don Matrick era. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. you know, like the, the, well, you know, we have, we have a product for those people and it's called Xbox 360. Right. 
<laughs> and you know the, the the people who thought at that time <laughs> that that you know getting rid of you know physical ownership was like a, a valid strategy like you know I, it, you know it's it's sad that you know they're they're trying to <laughs> offensive try, thing to say i know but like still it's like adorably all digital like doesn't that doesn't that sound like like such a Don Patrick era thing, like just so tone deaf. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like as bad as this is for Microsoft, like they have seen the reaction, and now they have like a real advantage in the sense that they Antics they can in, they can anticipate the reaction and like massage the messaging. <laughs> massage it. Massage. Oh, is this? Oh, okay. Oh, cool. So I get to start at the same level. Like, there's no... I don't have to do, like, the previous areas again. That's even better. Oh, good. I mean, for some reason, I thought... I mean, was... if, if, it feels like you're moving through this pretty... I don't know. I'm, I don't know how many missions there are. I don't, I don't remember. I can look it up if you want me to. Yeah. By the way, if you if you hear this this <laughs> this loud clacking, it, it's because I got the the eight bit do eight bit do um NES, the eight bit doob uh, style uh, mechanical keyboard. So <laughs> I saw the, the I saw your photos and stuff. And I'm like, you know what? I like I I ordered the Famicom. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the, the keys are, like, actually, like, real cool on it. Like, I, like, they're, they're, they're different than the, uh, um, what I was expecting, what my, like, Logitech one is like. Your li so it's a different kind of mechanical keyboard? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like it, it feels, I've never, like, like, retro-ish. Like, it feels, uh. Yeah, I mean, I've never really had, like, a modern mechanic, like, like. Keyboards, like my my main thing with keyboards has always been like cost. <laughs> like like I'm not like I'm not out to get a luxurious keyboard. You know I'm out to get one that has the functionality I need, feels comfortable enough, and is you know wireless and you know doesn't cost a lot of money. You know I've never really gone crazy with keyboards. And, uh, but I, I saw this and I'm just like, I feel too specifically targeted with this product. <laughs> like, like NES is, is, is my aesthetic. Uh, oh, I, I, I had to have, I mean, the Famicom one looks awesome too, but like, you know, I just, NES is where I come from, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I like so, I just got to use specifically with my mister. Like you said, it, like I don't see myself using it with like my computer. Oh, oh, I mean, it's 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 my main keyboard now. You know. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, I mean, I needed a new keyboard. My my old keyboard, like the the you know half of the keys, the the print is gone, and yeah. you know it, it 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 was pretty old. I, 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 and like the, the control key, um, maybe the shift key sometimes got stuck. Um, I, I need, I need a new keyboard. And so I was like, well, you know, this, this seems like, seems like something I would really like. So uh, I, I love it. Like it just, it feels like I'm not used to keys uh. like that. And it, it like it, I, it's, Getting used to the sound is, is you know, uh, a thing, I guess. But it just it feel it does it really does feel more satisfying to use. I have to admit. Uh, so uh, so I'm impressed. You, you know what I like about it is it feels like it feels like one of those like self-contained computers, like a Commodore, right? Like you know, it's it's definitely like thick and heavy. Um, yeah. At least, you know, this is coming from a guy that does, that knows very little about me. Yeah. People. I mean, I, I was pretty surprised. I was not sure if I was going to be interested in it. Uh, and, like, I, it, it does feel like, you know, it, they tout it as, like, a, 
as a retro keyboard, and it does feel like suitably yeah, like, retro-ish, well, like if, like yeah. almost like a keyboard that would have come out. The the only thing that disappoints me is it's got like those two big A and B buttons. Yeah. And I assumed that was just gonna be like a separate like USB accessory. Yeah, I was I like, wish it's like the like the, like a headphone jack type thing. Right. There, there's like this like A B X Y like 3.5 millimeter holes in the back, and I don't know if that's like a, kind of a standard thing for like expanded keyboard functionality. I don't know what that's about. Um, but yeah, like since I use it wirelessly and I use it on my lap, that's, that's like how you get them right there. Using it, using it wired is kind of a kind of a no go for using those buttons. Yeah, I was hoping it was gonna be like a USB thing, because I'd like to use it with my computer. Like, it'd be I was, really. Yeah, I was going, I was going to use them on like a completely. I was going to use them on my downstairs computer. Yeah, I, I was like the like, idea. Oh, like, to, like, I would love push I, the button for recording or something. Yeah, exactly. Like it would be like because it's like so big. It's like the start stream button. Yeah, yeah, go live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're really big buttons. They're downstairs. I don't have them here. But, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them. Like, I don't know if, like, they would be compatible with something else. Oh, you can't use them for time crisis then. Nope. That'd be, that'd be good. Like, button, big yeah. button. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm... I'm uh, I'm I'm pretty pretty happy with it. it. It feels really good. It is a retro keyboard, as as you say. Um, yeah, it's just it 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 feels it it feels like the right product for me. So I'm, I'm yeah. Happy. I also really like like the LED on it is like really retro feeling. Too. Yeah, yeah. It kind of feels like the bit. the power light on like a Commodore, right? Yeah. Like everything about it is yeah. It's I I I I I, I gotta say I am I am quite impressed. Yeah. Um, the one thing though is like when I'm editing, I'm like going through the timeline, and like if I'm like trying to like tap forward to like get to like a like a musical hit, like I'm like I want to edit on this note. Yeah. You know, like I'm like I'm listening really hard to hear where that beat hits, but I'm also listen. I'm also hearing the the tapping on the oh, okay on, yeah on the keyboard. Is not used to it. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm getting more more used to it. It does just 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 typing somehow just do, really does feel like more a lot better out. somehow. Anyway, I was going. <laughs> I started. I say all that because let's see. This is this one is a real American hero. Is that right? Yeah, I put GI Joe yeah. the video game, and I for some reason I thought that was the name of it, but I guess not. Well, I don't. I think the I think the the title screen of the game cartridge itself might not say the, exactly the same thing. I forget. Uh, anyway, hey, let's see. Here's to be. Mm. I feel like like the bosses so far. You can just like tank them. <laughs> yeah, with especially the three characters. Were you? Yeah, are you looking up how many missions there? Are? Yeah, uh, it looks like looks like there's six missions. Um, are are missions? Are the third mission or the third? mission in each mission always on the same map as the first one? No. Because I'm looking at, at this maps and charts and for some reason they're putting maps one and three together and then two separate. But yeah, it looks like they all I guess have three, each mission has three maps and then Mission six. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I'm looking at the map here. That's giving me a flashback. <laughs> oh, it's like the last mission, like real bad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like a maze. But it's one map. But it it looks it looks huge. Yeah. Oh 
yeah, and I'm looking I'm <laughs> nice. looking at this screenshot of the file boss. That's feeling a little familiar too. I want to say like I might have done something where like I might be one of those situations where I like I died as I killed the final boss and I wasn't sure if it was going to count or not. Uh, like yeah, I, that sounds familiar. Yeah, there was definitely something that happened. I don't I don't remember exactly what it was, but there there was something along those lines. <laughs> Dad, Dad, one one five three, <laughs> asking the hard questions. Um, who, uh, who would, uh, would, who, who, who would, who would Nelly Bean and Sandy be as GI Joes, and who would we be? You know, right. I, I have to, I have to confess, I, 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 I am not, I don't know a lot of the individual GI Joes. The, the peak of my GI Joe knowledge was at the exact moment I was playing through this game on NES, and, uh, you know, I, I've already forgot. <laughs> so, uh, uh, who, who, who would we be? Um, I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say that, that Nelly would be, um, uh, Scarlet. Just like, or... <laughs> You know what? Since they're they're both girls, they'd have to both probably be like either Lady J or Scarlet, right? I think um, are those the only yeah, two women uh, GI Joe uh, characters? At least in the original. <laughs> like there, there's like a current GI Joe, right? Like that's what that game that you played with your son is. No, I mean that's like this. Oh, really? It's based on the original? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I just assumed there was, like, a new series or something. No, 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 no. Um. I mean, I, I, I'd want to be whoever has the spread shot. Uh, I, I don't know if anybody has. Or, well, that's rock and roll in this. I mean, they both have spread shot. All of them have. Well, not Snake Eyes doesn't. You know who I know more about than the, than G.I. Joe? Who? Is <laughs> the the cheap commandos. The, yeah, the, look the, at wait, them, wait, the, the cheap commandos? The, the cheap commandos. Look at look at the cheap commandos, Sandy. What are what are what those? are they? What are they? Oh, we, 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 we got, we got some cheap commanders fans in here. Yeah. I see kebabs knows what this is about. Uh, th th this is gun haver. Okay. This, this is, this is rip burger. This oh, is, oh gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Who's the nerdy one? Oh no. Oh, this is, th this is Firebert. Who needs a he needs a better commando name, Sandy? Firebird needs a better commando name. Th this is this is the blue laser, the e the evil head of blue laser. This is oh shoot, who is who is this? Is that is that like oh, a wait, strong bad thing? Or, or wait, is, is is this one Firebird? Who's Firebird? I don't know. I think that this one might be Firebird. Oh, oh yeah, the the one with the the one with the headphones. That's reinforcements. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, it, it's it's a Homestar Runner thing. Okay. And I, I've 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 got I've got their action figures. It's 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 actually maybe like my favorite like sub series on on Homestar Runner. Okay, I I, I love the Cheat Commandos. Even though I never like really watched GI Joe, like I I got it. <laughs> I I had no idea that you could like stick the walls in this. Oh, how about that? 
Did you think those were sandy toys? <laughs> she's gonna, yeah, well, she's Did gonna eat them when you're, look like, like when you're sandy not. Toys. You're not around. What she's gonna do? Oh, what's this? What's that thing? What is that in there? I gotta punch it. What is that in there? Do you think? I'm punching oh. it. Oh, it looks like one of those helicopter things, maybe. Oh, it is. Look, it's like, oh, it's one of these things. Look at this. Oh, whoa! It's like the, the, the it's like the buzzsaw thing. It was like the, the, that one boss. Yeah. Um, see, there was a $2 super chat from Warren Hokey. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Saying, did you know there is a work in progress port of Portal on N64? Yeah, I don't, is there, is there like a way to play it? Or, or is it, is it like, no, of course released? not. I, I definitely remember uh, seeing some things on it before, which is pretty, pretty neat. I'm sure they're pulling off some crazy tricks to, to make that happen. A good trick. Um, there was also a five dollar super chat from SNK Nostalgia. Thank Ooh. you. Thank you. And speaking of commandos, just bought the HK MK2345 handgun for $2,400. And then once I get the HK USP45, I'll have the solid snake pistol. I was gonna say, like, uh... I didn't, I didn't. I didn't know that. Is 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 that is that what? I well, I, I, I know I, the. Uh, well, I thought it was like the SOCOM or whatever. But I, oh, yeah, I, I know SOCOM, the USP. SOCOM I know because that's what it actually says on the menu. But like I didn't. Like I mean that you'd have to listen to to him him rambling on in the. In yeah. The, uh, well, the USP Kodak is like the. Is that the like the dart gun? Or no, uh, the USP. I mean I. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I honestly couldn't have told you if they were like actually real guns <laughs> in in Metal Gear. But oh, it makes oh sense I mean, gonna you got to assume that they're gonna be real guns. Yeah, but I mean, it requires like licensing and stuff, so I never I never really gave it much thought. Do, do you, I do you have a broader Metal Gear collection for that to go along with? You have to have to cut the groove for the for the knife. <laughs> then you can go around explain to people, you know, all about you know how how you learn CQC. <laughs> Give me those. Wait, he says wait till he buys the Stinger missile launcher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's five bombs in this one. I'm run out of time. Ooh, there's another. What, another one of the buzz balls over here. USB is a 45 handgun on MGS2. I almost always use the Trank and uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, except, you know. During boss fights, of course. <laughs> okay, so I can only grab on a certain. How do I get in there then? I can only grab onto like the rigid wall. Like once it goes smooth, I can't grab onto it anymore. Oh, can Duke do it? The cow all look the same. <laughs> oh, I see. I see. Where it like it? Okay. Yeah. It's a little weird. How do I get to that thing? Do I gotta go in this way? Can you Can use I the guy right that there? jumps higher? It's well, making it look like I can jump in right there. Because I can... Oh, do I yeah. gotta use snake eyes? 
I'm running out of time here because of Well, can you can you jump, grab the wall to the right, and then jump higher with it? No, because it's not it's smooth. Right, but he but jump to the left like there you we can go. Jump higher, it's just, like, it just requires you to like like do it perfectly. That's all. Oh, just do it perfectly. Oh, and that's all I needed from there. Uh, what's Henry Clark saying about? Kebabs had some like a an idea for next week. Oh, play! Uh, Kebabs had an idea to play Ducktales and Ducktales Remastered simultaneously. Oh yeah, uh, that's that's the full. Well, you know, there's that uh, that new SNES port of it. Oh, I don't think I knew about that. Yeah, I mean Ooh. it's like done. It's been out for a while. It's like it working on. I think he's working on Metroid now. Definitely an idea. Um, uh, Dragon Killer Ryu was asking, uh, any ETA on the Retro Tank 4K episode. Um, we're finishing, uh, the accessories we use, the accessories we use the most episode. Uh, it'll be, it's like so close to done. So it'll go up either tomorrow evening or Tuesday. Um, but then, you know, I'm going, I, I've got the script written for the Retro Tank 4K episode, so hopefully it'll be just a few weeks, a few, uh, bleh, 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 I can't talk, a few weeks. So, October for sure. Yeah. And my, uh, other video, my tour video will also be on October, so it'll be two videos in October. I mean, that's ideally, like, the dream is to like have two episodes out every month. Like, I think yeah. that that is like achievable. Yes, we're we we, we have reclaimed a... our our time that was lacking. <laughs> I saw um, I saw uh, Frank Boris asking uh, over the triumphs uh, of the Joe team. Sandy had <laughs> had stopped having epileptic seizures no yeah she's been really good uh that was just like a phase um for the most part the one thing that has happened like she had like she had like three like about two and a half three months apart like back in it was like the end of it was like two years like two years ago was the first one then there was like one about three months apart and then nothing she's been fine um the one time was a few months ago she did something kind of funny that i think was probably a seizure ish thing but um it, it was very different it, she just kind of um she was like standing and then she kind of looked like she was like looking at something off to the side. And like, she just kind of stood there staring blankly for like a minute, maybe not even that long, but just like, like her eyes were like kind of looking in like a weird way. And like, she, like I was saying, Sandy, Sandy. And, and she wasn't like, she just, she just kind of stayed sort of just standing very still head kind of turned in the, to the side a bit and then her, her eyes just kind of looked like they were just not really looking forward and then you know after just a moment then then she was fine hmm. but um yeah I mean you know the vets say it's nothing to worry about Seizures aren't necessarily dangerous in and of themselves. It's just, you know, you don't want to be in a situation where you could get hurt when it happens. But, but yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's not, it's, it's not, it's become a less frequent issue. I feel like I would be. I don't know. I'd do. 
I mean, the, well, I mean, the, the first time it happened, like, I mean, I just had no clue what was going Like, I, I just had, I thought maybe she had something caught in her throat because, like, I didn't think she was breathing. Oh, okay. In retrospect, I think she was. But, I, because she, she's never, it, she, she didn't, it's never been like a, the ones that I saw have never been like a, like a, you know, I think the term is grand mall seizure or something right, where it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, really, you know, lots of movement. Um, you know, it's always been a much more subdued thing. So she was just very still. And my, my mom said that, um, you know, she used to be like a teaching assistant. Um, and she, she said that there was a, there was a girl who she never actually saw her have a seizure, but apparently she could have seizures. And um, like her mom said, like what, you know, it's not going to be like a big thing. Like sometimes you'll just like see her like, just like staring off into space and not responding for a moment. And that's kind of what Sandy was doing, you know, several months ago when I saw that that one. That was the first time I'd seen anything like that in, you know, over a year. Snake Eyes is like throwing fireballs. He's like Hadoukening. Oh yeah! I didn't even realize that's what he was doing. I mean, is that it's, it's, but it's real weak. Choke? It's real weak. It doesn't. Uh, doesn't give a good impression of Snake Eyes. It's his abilities, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, I never saw that Snake Eyes um, movie. Like the, the <laughs> I, th I think it's so stupid when movies are called like Origins. Oh, or, yeah. Like, like this wasn't like GI Joe Origins Snake Eyes. Like you're gonna make one for each character? Is that the idea? Yeah, and then, and then it usually just ends up being one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time. There was. Um, what was it I was thinking I of? Not long ago, that was that was like that, and it's like, oh, that's the only one. <laughs> or, or it's like it has origins in the title, but like no one actually refers to it as that because. There's no other. I mean, it all it makes me also think of like Fire Emblem Echoes. Cause like I always refer to that game as Fire Emblem Echoes because it's the only one that they actually branded that way thus far anyway. But, like that it's it's Fire Emblem Echoes Shadows of Valencia. And mm -hmm. like it was supposed to be this whole like sub series of of Fire Emblem remakes, and they were going to call them Fire Emblem Echoes. And so, but I never oh, called yeah. the game Shadows of Valencia because there's only one Fire Emblem Echoes, I remember and it's just that. easier to say yeah, Fire yeah. Emblem Echoes. It like never works out. That stuff yeah. never works out. <laughs> what? There, were, there was, um, um, uh, uh, for, you, you might have to do this one actually because uh, like I said I'm not overly familiar with the show dad1153 with $2 super chat saying Cobra Commander with Starscream voice why <laughs> can, can you do it Cobra oh my Commander god I Starscream can't do that voice, voice. your Trump. new leader I don't know I can't I can't do it oh, that, that, that kind of voice okay so that would be like a why kind of thing what? Yeah, I don't know. Um, it was also from Container Seven. Five dollars super chat saying, "Saying I, I'm a computer." Yeah. <laughs> and then Car Car Carl uh, Stiacchiano. Uh, Five dollars super chat. Is it, is it super a chat saying, Stop all the downloading. <laughs> hey kid. Hey kid. I'm a computer. <laughs> I always like the. Like how he says that, he's like, Hey kid, hey kid. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, that's that's the all. point. I know. <laughs> very, very, uh, very progressive. Those. 
I can't find the last thing. Where is the last one? I, I have I have access to maps. Okay, well I can Ready, find four out of five. What mission are you on? Uh, three two. Um, if you got one in the upper right and lower right? Um, maybe? Probably. Did you get one that's kind of in the middle on the very bottom down a very long corridor? Yes, there's like two of them down there. Okay, there's also one in the middle. Oh, I, I found it, I found it. I got it, I got it. I'm gonna use gridiron so that I can have a full life bar to get out of here. Kid. <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I, I'm pretty sure I had seen those like back in the day, but I, I was actually kind of reintroduced to them, like, like, like to the point where it was like, it was like, I'm sure I've seen these, but I just don't remember them at all. I, like, I, I was reintroduced to them last year because I saw like, oh come on, let go of me. Let go! I saw the pork chop sandwiches thing what the heck? reference. I'm like, what? this has to be in reference to something. What is this in reference to? And then I ended up going down the rabbit hole. <sighs> I like that I can change character is like when he grabs onto me and throws me. Oh. <laughs> it's like, no, you you take a damage here. No, you do it. Uh, there was a two pounds from JL saying, evening, do any of you cook your own meals? I mean, if I cooked my meals, we'd definitely have a pork chop sandwiches situation on our... <laughs> On, on, on our hands uh you know you should you should watch the new video because the sponsorship at the beginning has to do with not cooking your own meals <laughs> um i mean like sometimes i do um my wife is a much better cook than i am but i mean i could i could stand to like learn some more I mean, yeah, I, I could stand to learn a lot. I'll say that. Shh, Henry Clark. Shh. I mean, I don't think it has to be a secret or anything. No. <laughs> yeah, there's a factor spot at the start of the new episode. <laughs> Cause, and you use it. Yeah, you use it. Which I use! Like, yeah. I actually legitimately use it. Like, so I was like, I've like actually been wanting for a while to do one. Cause I'm like that it would, it would be great to do a sponsorship for something that I don't have to like try out and research. Right. Like it, it, it comes from the heart. Yeah. And see Henry, I, I actually had no idea that they were everywhere until, uh, until Drum mentioned it, because you know he listens to a lot of podcasts. And I, I said like, I said, oh, we're doing a factor sponsorship. He's like, oh, those are like everywhere now. And I'm like, really? I had no idea. Oh, so you can power up guns? E. W. Rudy, no, try. You're from the south, right? We can all cook. Oh, if only, <laughs> if only. What do the K's do, you think? No! Oh, okay. Power up your your special. Yeah, this is a long level special, here. Special, special K. Um, there was a $5 super chat from Brent McClain. Oh. Thank you. Uh, saying two questions. 
will there be a benefit to running DVDs through a RetroTINK 5X? And is there a problem with running the RetroTINK through my AV setup? You mean the RetroTINK 5? When you say running the RetroTINK through your AV setup, you mean running the RetroTINK 5X through your AV setup, or are you talking about potentially in the future with the 4K? Um, I can't recall specifically if I tested DVDs on the 5X, uh, but I have um, tried DVDs on the 4K, and it's, it's pretty great. Um, I like adding, you know, doing scan lines and then doing horizontal uh, smoothing, which you can do on the 5X as well as the 4K. Um, um, and, uh, um, you know, so I, I, I think that would work, work, uh, work really well on the 5X. Um, you know, because, you know, if you look at DVDs on uh, CRT, like, they still look perfect. Like, you look at them on HDTV and they, they look like a compressed mess. But on CRT, they still look just, just perfect. Like, they, they couldn't look better. Unless it's just a really bad DVD. Um, as for running through the AV setup, um, no. There, there would not be a problem at all um, running it through, uh, an, through a, you know, like an AV receiver. Uh, the only problem would be on a 4K... You know, if you want to run HDMI stuff through it, then it needs to be after your AV switchers, right? Um, so, I, I, you know, I, I, I'm planning to kind of show how I'm doing it in um, in the in the Retro Tank 4K preview video. So. You know, a lot of people have been concerned about that aspect. But I, I think it works really well, like, putting it on, like, the, the, the secondary output of an AV receiver rather than going into it. Yeah. Because, you know, you're... The, the only problem would be... And, and I'm able to do that because I'm mostly dealing with HDMI stuff with it right now. I guess there could be an issue if you're dealing with analog audio. Yeah. Because you would want that to be going through your AV receiver after the retro. Um, so, yeah. It, I guess that could be complicated. Um, but um, you might just have to run the HDMI devices you want to run through it through a different switcher, maybe? But the thing is, like, I sometimes want to use, like, the PS5 with it, but I don't always want to use the PS5. But, you know, you know, something I didn't realize, um, like, I, I kind of figured this out and then talked to John, or I thought it was actually an EDID thing on the retro tank. I thought it was just not, like, describing its capabilities to devices on the other end. And then John kind of clarified for me what... Um, what it was like mo monitor two Ooh. if the device the connected to monitor two isn't powered on then like other devices won't see it they'll only see the thing that's on monitor one and see i didn't think you could like disable that like you could like just turn zone two off right like i thought you would have to actually go into the menu and like turn it off but if the device itself is off then it doesn't send out e did so for example i if, as long as the retro tink is off which is connected to monitor <laughs> 2 <laughs> like the playstation 5 doesn't see that there's an issue like the playstation 5 isn't like oh i can't do 4k 120 <laughs> hdr up at the top where it's supposed to say alert it says alert <laughs> <laughs> How did I, I, at first I thought that? it was alarm, but the other one says Arart. <laughs> <laughs> alarm and Arart. Wow, they 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 made a, a lot of effort to make two wrong. Alert. Alert. <laughs> alert. Arart. 
I mean, maybe they legitimately didn't know which one was correct, and they're like, well, we'll get one of them right, yeah. and then they're both wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Alert, alert. They're like, you know what? It's 50-50 chance one of those is right. Yeah. And, and neither, neither is right. <laughs> you know, one of, one of my favorite things <laughs> like that. Like, like, no smirking. Where does it say no smirking? <laughs> one, 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 of my, one of my favorite things like that, where it's just a misspelled graphic in a game, is... Um, uh, in uh, Ill Bleed on Dreamcast, there, uh -huh. there's like there's these these um, the, these signs like on a, on like electrical equipment and stuff that says like very dingar, <laughs> <laughs> which like makes zero sense, honestly. Is is very dingar? I mean, you get it. You, you know what they're trying to say. I don't. It's, 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 it's extremely dangerous. Well, yes. It's very Dengar. I didn't... I, mean, I, I would have thought it was a Pokemon reference. So I wonder if it's impossible, like possible to get into a situation where you can't beat a boss because you're not your gun's not powered up enough. What does the K do, you think? I mean, we were talking about that earlier. It's, it's charged your special because it's special K. <laughs> I mean it looks like it looks like a It looks like a Pez. Yeah, it's like a dispenser or something. Well like a like a Pez candy, just like the, the candy piece itself. There was, uh, there was a 99 cent super chat from CR Tinkering, uh, just with a, with a, with a, I, I, I like that a very name. surprised face attached to it. Just going. Ooh. Also, I, I love your, your Ninja Gaiden ending avatar there. I want the, the second one's like easy. What what is this? Why do I have grenades suddenly? What why is he throwing grenades? I don't want to throw grenades. Why are you throwing gr oh because I'm out of Oh, because I'm out of bullets. Or out of yeah. Well, I mean gr grenade sounds better than bullets. <laughs> now when you gotta punch it, I I mean I don't even know what's going on here. Well, yeah, yeah. Down, down. It being on the ground seems bad. It being under you, grenade sounds great. Yeah. There. I, I was like, what is going on? I didn't even know. Like, so I didn't realize if you hold up and you press shoot, then you throw a grenade. Oh, Pop the Weasel was playing alongside you. May it pass level three, but heading to bed. What is. Oh, it's a. Uh... Like that's like, look at that turkey. It's a vulture. <laughs> yeah, the road pig. It's your boy, road pig. Road pig. Um. But yeah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> that was gonna, we got more. Uh, we got more bomb hunting again favorite oh do you know if, if atlantis factor is this supposed to be like an easier or harder game i wonder uh compared to atlantis i mean i i mean i think atlantis factor is like a very different game isn't it like I don't I, know. i've always heard it's not as good and I, I forget if i've ever like tried it on everdrive or anything i mean i have honest. it isn't it more expensive I, I got it for real cheap. I got this one before it went up in price, too. You know, when I rebought my NES, this is like one of the first games I got with it. I bought my RGB modded top loader. 
Uh, yeah, you, isn't it crazy to think you didn't even have an NES at the time that we started the channel? Well, I, I yeah, I mean, I got the, uh, I had that composite modded one. The, but you didn't, you didn't. That I bought from Jason before we, like, knew who Jason was. Right, but you, had you started the channel? Uh, yeah, I think we had, yeah. So six. And of course, the NES RGB mod wasn't quite out yet when we no, started. No, so I, I yeah, I had to just had the composite mod at the time. I guess it is definitely crazy to think about. But I mean, what's even cool though, it, cooler is that you know that mod, that RGB mod that I got, it was like well done and it's like worked. Well, like the entire time. Yeah. Kind of too hot for me to stand on, I guess. What controller are you using? I'm using the the uh, N32.4 G. That's what I assumed. Yeah. I I like it. Yeah, I do too. It's just you know I would do. <laughs> I don't know if you watched like my second segment, but there, when I, I haven't, about... I haven't. Yeah. So. I, I mentioned like using, uh, if you if you don't like wireless controllers, you can use like controller extensions. And I had this gigantic Ziploc bag of <laughs> of them, and I just like <laughs> like set it down in front of the camera. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> you know, I I I um I was I was digging through one of my one of my one of my controller baskets a few weeks ago because i was looking to see if i could find like an because i got that brook xbox adapter it lets you use like oh, engine okay, controllers so, yeah 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 but yeah it's, you know it's uh definitely gonna be a game changer uh but i was looking to see if i had a usb i think i gave you my usb thing. no i had to get a separate one. Oh, well, i couldn't find mine so i bought another i mean they're real cheap couldn't find mine though because like i thought i might have given it to you because i was like well i hacked my xbox i'm not gonna need this again you can. now i had to go i had to find and buy one i didn't have one um so yeah so um but anyway like i, I when i was going through it i'm like oh my gosh like i don't even remember having this many controller extensions and i just i don't need them anymore like I don't need it. I, I just don't need them at all anymore with the way things are set up now. Right. Like the only the only one I would possibly need would be original Xbox. Um, the one down the HDMI one downstairs. But now that I'm going to be using real, um, uh, real uh, controllers. Uh, or not real controls. Huh? Yeah, well, they are real. They're, 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 they're you know, uh, they're, they're, I, I just, I don't, I don't even like the S controller. I just don't like original Xbox controllers at all. Um, so using current gen Xbox controller will be much, much nicer. So I'm, I'm excited about that. See, kebab say I tried using the Ziploc bag thing Try does, but I couldn't do it. I don't like having to shove the cables in there after I'm done. I mean, you know, admittedly, I I leave the controllers out for a while, and you know, they they kind of make a mess, and then it's like, okay, I got to I'm I'm not playing this system right now. Like, I got to put these away. You know, so they they sometimes sit out for weeks. <laughs> you know, uh, but ultimately, their their home is in the bag, in the bag, and and then in the like, IKEA basket. Uh, there was a ten dollar super chat from Ooh. Elk Plays and Paints. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Saying I just got my retro bit Glay Lancer on Friday, and I'm looking forward to getting Yuzo Koshiro's new Genesis game Earthion. Yeah, yeah. Are any of the new retro reprints or are there any new retro reprints or indie cartridges you boys are into? Um, I got I got Glay Lancer also because I, I you know I had gotten the Columbus Circle one. A while back, 
and it was like non beveled. So I like wanted a good cartridge. Um, you know, like I used to be more into uh, repros and stuff. You know, like um, when uh, I just when I had more of a reason to use them before I had like ever drives and stuff. But mm-hmm. now, like if like I will buy them occasionally, like the uh, the official ones because like I feel like. If there was no official, it, it feels more like okay. If this game came out, this would, you know, like this is like this is the official release, U.S. release of this. Right. You know, just like uh, so. But the only ones I've ever gotten is uh, is like Glalancer and uh, and the Wily Wars. Mm-hmm. Just because you know, like that was closer to. Um, I mean, the like the translation, everything existed. It just that there was right. no official right. release of it, and on, on physical on physical media. Correct, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, the one that I got was uh, Shabiban Man Zero, right? Um, which was the Columbus Circle, not great quality. Um, I I mean, I I think it's really cool that those exist for. Like, you know, because people are interested in collecting different things. Um, I, I'm not like the things I like to collect are like like officially licensed cartridges from the platform. You know, when you've got things like that, of course it's, it's officially licensed by the people who own the rights to the game, but it's not like it's not a Nintendo cartridge, right? So for me, what I, I forget if I forget if Earthion was confirmed to have like um is Earthion can it's coming to the modern have... platforms also okay yeah 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 so that that's what I'm going to want to buy you know I'll get like the Switch version or something mm-hmm. or, or I'm sure I you know I mean it's a Genesis game so I assume the Switch version would be just as good as any other so you know I kind of mentioned in this accessories video that. You know, I, I do, unless there's an, you know, an obvious known advantage to, like, the PS5 version, I tend to get retro-style games on Switch because I I just love the selection of controllers that you can use with, you know, the mm-hmm. Super Nintendo or the Genesis or the NES or N64. You know what's funny? <laughs> um, I, in fact, do not. Uh, <laughs> well, well, guess, guess. You'll never guess. <laughs> um, I, I, um, I was uh, recycling some stuff from the, uh, the the Nintendo Switch Online controllers episode. Yeah, <laughs> and it was like, it's funny to think how like I mean that wasn't that long. I mean I guess it was actually getting close to two years ago, which is kind of wild to think about. Um. <laughs> but I um, it, it was just interesting like scrubbing through it and I'm like wow I like don't remember testing this game or or I remember but I forgot or I, or I forgot you covered certain games and I was like wow I completely forgot that like Mario Kart 8 works perfectly with the N64 controller um and so I actually hadn't played the Wave Five DLC yet, and so like, you know, as that's I was, how you played it. As I was winding down before going to bed, I'm like, I'm I'm gonna play the, the Mario Kart Eight Wave Five DLC levels with the N64 control. And I got and I got I got a three star rating, a gold trophy and three star rating my <laughs> first time because. Thanks to the N64 control. Wow. Yeah. I couldn't have done it without the N64. <laughs> oh, Cheese Meister says the NES version of All Was Awakening blows Metroid out of the water. Oh, I thought I, I was confused. That I was I thought I thought you were saying it blows like the modern platforms version out of the water where you're just saying it's better than any other. I mean, I have a soft spot for NES Metroid. Like I dreaded it and dreaded it and dreaded it for a long time. Um, 
And then when I finally got around to playing it, you know, I tried tried doing a little little mapping on graph paper as, as I did it. And I was like, you know what? This is a lot more manageable than I thought it would be. Um, I can't remember if I got any version of All Was Awakening. I don't think I, I, don't think I did. I got the Switch version. I don't know where this last one is. It's always the last one that I have trouble with. I, I, I can check my backlog to see if I bought it or not. Did, 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 did you stream a little bit of it once? Like on a games I haven't booted yes. or something? Yes. How do I get to that thing? I do not have All Was Awakening. Would you believe... <laughs> That, uh, you know, if I search my backloggery for Awakening, uh, would you believe that three out of five games with the word Awakening in it is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would believe that. Switch version, regular version, and color version. Also, I have Fire Emblem Awakening and Phenotopia Awakening. Uh, anyway, there was uh, rock and roll. Five dollars super chat from from Rooster fifty one fifty. Thank you. So I've been watching you guys since twenty fifteen. Yeah, I think it'd be okay if I like looked play. at maps. Oh, if... yeah. I mean, if, I just like I just if, if you're feeling at that point. Yeah, I mean, just like, go I... go game facts. They they've got um. You know, they've got full color, you know, wow, sprite, background based maps. They're yeah. really good. Um, yeah, th thanks, Rooster. Am I 3 2? No, I'm on 4 2. There we go. Nice. Okay. All the waiting is $20 on Amazon. And Henry Clark says literally playing it right now. Hmm. Let me let me look it up. Like, isn't there like, isn't that the one that has um, uh, like a like a eight bit graphics? Yeah, one and it's and like then one like of the like things. Sequel that's like Super Nintendo style. I think so. Yeah. You know, what was it? Um, there was one game I was testing on the Retro Tink. Um, oh, what's it called? It's another one of those NES style games. Um, I do I'll not know. Up. Uh, let me look up the Retro Tink preview video because I wrote about it. Why am I drawing a blank on its name? Um, let's see. Um, there was, oh, maybe, uh, well, I did test it. Oh shoot. What is it called? That's going to drive me nuts. There was a, a donation from rooster 5150 for $5. Thank you. I hope you're still here. It, uh, saying, I, uh, I've been I watching you guys remember. since 2015. Y'all the pros. I mean, I, I, already, read, I already read that, but is, is, is true now when you read it as it was back oh. when I did. Oh, I don't know how I <laughs> missed that. Well, thank you. Well, now you got it twice. <laughs> Some bang for your five bucks. Yeah. Oh, this is going to drive me crazy. What's the name of that game? Um, what is the... Oh, Asylon Tears of the Earth. Oh, okay. That seems, that seems really cool. Yeah. I'm... I'm I'm in, interested in, in playing through that one. That was that was the first time I had booted it to test it with the retro thing. <laughs> yeah, you know, when when this video, like I mean, I guess I can get back and like I want I want to finish uh, Shenmue. If I can if I can, if I can tear myself away from Vampire Survivors for crying out loud. 
<laughs> well, if you if you finish this game, uh, you should show us Vampire Survivors. Oh, I I probably won't finish this, but I might do it anyways. Do I can I like? There's one like right down here apparently. I don't know how to get to it. I don't think I can blow up the gun. Do I kind of punch it? <laughs> for for some reason on Amazon. Yeah. On the Always Awakening Collection page for Switch. There, there's like, you know how you can choose like, the the flavors on Amazon, right? The. You know, so it says style. Which style do you want, right? Now you. Yeah. Or you can choose like different bundles or something. And here, like for some reason, I don't know why, but for some reason, you can just get Always Collection, or you can get Always Collection and G Darius HD, or Always Collection and Kaze and the Wild Masks. Oh. Why I don't know. <laughs> I already have Kaze and the Wild Masks. So I don't. Very good game. I yeah. recommend it over Donkey Kong Country Returns. <laughs> it understands the formula better. I think so. I mean, it's it's, its own thing too, but um, that's good. I like it. So I should be able to go all the way up here. So, um, I, I was asking Drum about Vampire Survivors because I, I had, I, I thought someone had asked, I, I couldn't remember exactly, but someone had asked um, us to do for a directorship, I believe. To play it? Um, a, not that, but I guess there's like a Vampire Survivors clone. Like, like I guess apparently there's like a lot of clones of it. Like, apparently that was that was pretty hot for a while there. Yeah, I mean, Vampire Survivors clones. But is is I I don't remember what it, what it's called. Uh, the one that we were asked to play for a future. Oh, director there's different show. versions of the level. Um, but what um, <laughs> what what I thought was kind of funny was, uh, I don't know if you've heard this. It was news to me. That news to me. The <laughs> <laughs> what episode was that from? I, you know, I don't have it on here. I, I hadn't thought about that in a long time. News to me. Was was that the 4K? That was like the. Ups, oh, like was the... that the Owen episode? No, that was like this 4K scalar episode. Oh, oh, the, the, like the, um, the sharpening not being bad on the newer OS. Yeah. News, News to me! <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um. Where were you? Yes, Vampire Survivors. Oh, yes, Vampire Survivors. So, uh, Drum told me that the guy who made vampire survivors his his day job is like programming slot machines oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he like he he knows how to make you feel good and want to want to want to keep 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 trying yeah i get that know the tricks um i'll tell you one thing though like i've been playing it a lot like as i like go to bed Mm -hmm. And I will like almost fall asleep and like sometimes kind of like hallucinate when I'm like, <laughs> playing it because you know like you want to last thirty minutes, right? And it's no, I, I don't know anything about it. That's so there, there's the a thirty goal? minute timer, okay? Uh, so you just uh, you need to you know like survive for thirty minutes, but by the end. If you play it right, you are like so ridiculously powerful, like that you could literally just stand there uh, for those like the last like few minutes. Wow. 
So like you you survive for thirty minutes and you beat the game. Is that how it is? You beat the level. Oh. Because but you know like <laughs> last thirty minutes of dream. Uh yeah. Um, <laughs> fighting for the dream. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's the whole point is you just are supposed to survive for 30 minutes and you get so powerful. Like if you evolve like certain weapons the right way that you could just like stand there. Um, you can, you can obviously like make enemies tougher if you want to, or make the game tougher in different ways. But I'm just like been focusing on like the achievements because every single thing every achievement gives you like new uh like like new unlocks there's like something like 170 something unlocks at least that i know of right now wow that's a fair get... number yeah how do i get up here i know that that's where i need to get to <laughs> there was a five dollar super, super chat from mega x6 thank you saying uh say now we need a gi joe psa imlig style <laughs> would, 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 would it would it would it just would it would it be us dubbing over another cartoon or would it be someone else dubbing over over us doing a psa that's the, that's the question that everybody would want the answer to. I don't know. I thought it would be, you know, like anything. It could, it could be anything, honestly. Do I need that vehicle to get up there, you think? It just seems weird they would make a vehicle, like, required to get to the... Bomb. Unless I can go this way. PSA on 169 stretch. I mean, we'd have we'd have to do like a oh, genuine earnest PSA, and there, then there someone is. would have have to remix that. I'm not gonna. Have I mean, Joe's probably done enough quote unquote PSAs in his. Uh, in his ending skits, that there'd be some material yeah. there. I'm, I'm gonna get to this boss, and this is just gonna have rock and roll. Rock and roll, is he, like, the... For people that are, like, pros at this game, is rock and roll, like, the best character in the game? Because he seems like a lot more powerful than other characters. I mean, having some spread shots pretty hard to uh, hard to beat. Well, they all have spread shots. He he just seems to do more damage. Oh. I mean, Snake Eyes is definitely good because. Well, Snake Eyes is like he can jump. His melee is good too, but his uh, his projectile is like really terrible. Or a boss here? Oh yeah, dude, dude, he's like throwing boulders. Oh, I kind of remember this guy. No. Oh. But they kind of look like the statue from. Kind of like look like a giant of bobo head. Yeah. Um. <laughs> He's got little snake eyes left. Well. <laughs> He's just like he cheated. He just like threw it directly at me. Well, that is cheating. All right. Tactics failure. I know. Your tactics, they have failed. Is 
games we played in the works. I mean, it's in the works all year long, technically. Yeah, it never stops. Um, I mean, we'll that go. is, yeah, like that's the only thing that we have like haven't we've never like failed at. <laughs> I think it, it's it's so close every year though. It is. It's so close. Man, I, w I would love to actually be in a position to, like, have that done before Christmas. I know, right? I mean, it's, like, I think it's possible. I think we could do it if we wanted to. <laughs> I mean, I want to, but I'm not convinced I will. Yeah. <laughs> like, it would be so great to not have to worry about that, like, the week between Christmas and New Year's. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I've already, like, like done a couple of my segments, but I'm... I, I haven't like I what I wanted to always do is like oh like halfway through the year like I'll do like half of the year's work. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look on my backloggery. See I my 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 progress for the year is is lower than last year. Last year's total up to this point. Oh yeah. Last year, I had 38 beaten games and 10 completed games, which the 10 completed games were very likely like NES games or something. You know, something that I beat and completed at the same time because there was nothing else to do, right? Yeah. Um, so, I mean, basically combine those and say I beat 48 games last year. This year, I have 27 beat and 5 complete. So I'm at 32, 32 potential games Jeez. compared to, of course, I won't, I'm not going to talk about all of them. Right. Some of them might be short. Um, I mean, I have like a running list as well. But I feel like it's not but, even. Well, I mean, you know, I, since I'm, I do, you know, two streams a week that that always helps boost my numbers oh uh, okay yeah because you know, the backloggery streams are all all about beating games <laughs> yeah so yeah I mean I got a decent amount though you know uh it would be nice though to be able to at least say, oh, I finished my 10 games that I said I was going to finish. Ah, uh, yeah, about that. <laughs> I, I started building a, a list of potential candidate games for next year. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I always kind of got that in the back of my head. I mean, if I can finish Shenmue, like, this week, which I think I can, uh, then... Um, that opens up, like, it's back on the table, I think. Like, being able to... Mm. I was, like, off to such a good start. And then, like... Like, Zelda happened, really. Yeah. And, uh, and Final Fantasy 16 happened. Yep. And then now, Vampire Survivors happened. Like, Vampire <laughs> Survivor is not something that's was like on my list uh, that I like ever intended to play. I mean, it's yeah. it's just weird because that is such a game that uh, uh, I would never play like based on what it looks like. Yeah, and oh, I think yeah. that that's that is like kind of a horrible thing. But does anybody else like feel that same way? I can't think of anybody that probably bought that game without hearing word of mouth on it. Right. Like you look that like did they want to look at that and just be like, oh yeah, that's my jam. Yeah, exactly. I don't think that anybody <laughs> was probably in that situation. Wow, Joshua Helmicky 100 percented Xeno Saga 3. Oh, my, my my head was on Xenoblade 3, which would probably be even more insane, but I <laughs> imagine that would also be insane. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, I'm, you know, I like I've said before, I'm not At 10.30, I'll do... Ooh, I need this uh, I'll, I'll play, like, a round of Vampire Survivors, because it's going to go... 30 minutes. Yeah. Or right around that. Um... Not that anybody wants to even see. Like, I, I would be real curious to see well, I mean, what, what that game does so to. Much you got to. I know, but I like. I want to. I'm curious at what it will do to like the compression. Oh, like yeah. The, well, I mean, the stream you know, compression because it's kind of hilarious how busy it gets towards the end of the yeah. of a round. Um, but yeah, like I've said before, like I'm not planning to like start any like new release games yeah. this year other than Mario RPG and uh, Super Mario Wonder, which I mean, neither of those will take me that much time probably. So, you know, otherwise I'm just focusing on my list, but you know, I gotta admit the, the list is in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it really, you think... know, it really honestly shouldn't be. When you think about, you know, like those, uh, you know, like we beat, certainly beat more than 10 games every year. Like, why is right, the list, but, why is the list in well, trouble? And it's, I, I but mean, it's true for of, both of us, you know? Some of my, some of my picks were way too ambitious. Yes. I mean, weren't you supposed to play like, like you're, like you're playing Lunar 1 and 2 and also Trails of Cold Steel? Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 am still like, Gosh, darn it. like, I'm not sure I'm even quite ten hours into Lunar One yet. <laughs> and I, I've just been like too busy like the past like two weeks to have pretty much played it at all like i i got i got sidetracked by ridge racer 7 like that kind of became like i didn't have a lot of time so like oh come on playing that in the evening sounded a little more appealing than an rpg but yeah i i, I got too ambitious with my picks you you want to you want to hear some of the the maybes that are on my my list for next year? Sure. Um, I, I I'm going to hold myself to, I think to try to only pick like one or two RPGs, unless something is just like super short, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so, so remember, these are all m just maybes, right? Right now I have them sorted by system and it's a lot more than 10 games, but these are just, these are games that popped in my head of like, you know, that would be nice to beat sooner than later. Um, so for, of course I, uh, you know, <laughs> I say I'm going to be, you go easy on the RPGs going, cause I'm going, cause since my games from this year are going, the ones I potentially don't finish might. Uh, spill over into next year, <laughs> you know. I I gotta pick some some gimmies, right? Yeah. But starting off here at the top of the list, I've got PS One. Um. Uh. uh options that I considered for PS One are Final Fantasy Tactics or Vagrant Story. Ooh. Uh, I don't think Vagrant Story is like that long, is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Um, you know, before I uh, venture further down this list, I should probably grab... Oops. Uh, one second. Uh, Rooster 5150's $5 super chat. He's back again. Uh, saying, uh... Guess who gotta ask y'all, name the hardest game you've ever had to push through. You know, uh, I don't even know at this point. Honestly. I I mean I always think like Lunar Two on the on the Sega CD was like definitely one of the hardest games I've ever played. Oh yeah. Strange. Um, yeah. And that me, one probably, like really sticks with me. Probably the original Battletoads. Oh shoot. Um, I mean you know, 
I, I think most people haven't even played beyond the, you know, the speeder bikes. The speeder bikes are easy. It's the rest of the um, stuff, right? It's, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it gets pretty crazy. Uh, it's very hard. I mean, I thought Battletoads and Battle Maniacs was also really hard, um, but much shorter. Um... Super Ghouls and Ghosts is up there. Punch Out's up there. Mm hmm. Um. Those are definitely the ones that come to mind. EW Rooney's asking, why is Lunar 2 so hard? I mean, I, I assume because of. Well, largely because of the save. Well, and, like, so there's a character named Borgen that I remember staying home from school and, like, it taking me all day to beat him. Wow. Well, I I'm assuming I probably won't have as tough of a time with the PS1 version. No. I remember... I mean, seeing... I've been surprised, though. I mean, some of the bosses have not been easy, though. No. Like, the very first boss in the game, like, has this, like, region where he recovers, like, like 80 or 90 HP every turn, which was honestly pretty brutal. Which one? Um, oh, oh, yeah. Well, one of the bosses. Yeah. The, the first boss. Oh. Like, the slime on the ship. Yeah. He was like kind of really hard. Yeah. Like if if you, like if you, like if, I mean if you run out of MP for Alex, I mean you're, you're you just you can't keep up with him. Yeah, I'm just like looking to see if I can think of anything because I feel like my answer isn't very good, and it's one of those situations where <laughs> maybe if something was so hard, like I just pushed it out of my mind. And forget I mean, about anything it. Anything on Master System? Like, I, mean, I, I think Master on. System games are harder than NES games. Yeah, but I, I weirdly like haven't beaten a bunch of Master System games either. Um, like, let me think about it for a minute. I'd have to go and like look at what I got. Look at this a little cutscene. Hawk's been kidnapped. Yeah, the, the ones that come to mind are Battletoads, Super Ghouls and Ghosts, and um, and Punch Out. Those are those are the ones that come to mind. Yeah, I mean, I wish I had a, I wish I had a better answer. How about Mystic Defender? Mystic Defender is a good choice, like one of the hardest games I've played. Is sure. that? Is that is that the Genesis one or the Master? That's the Genesis. One. That's the Genesis one. Master System one's what? Spellcaster. Yeah. Um. Oh man, and uh, Rooster fifty one fifty comes back again. Five dollars super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, saying one more question for you guys. Name the game that made you rage quit. Hmm. Uh, F Zero GX Story Mode. <laughs> <laughs> I've never finished the story mode because it's so difficult. Although I like I mean, love I, the game, like that story mode is yeah, like it's, it, even on the easiest difficulty. Oh my it's god, like, it's like insane. you gotta even on the easiest difficulty, you've gotta like play it perfectly. Yeah, like it's they, ridiculous. I did. I like you I, almost I, wonder if 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 like the difficulty is like a bug. Like they didn't mean for that to happen. Yeah, well, maybe. Um, Whoa. Like, I mean, I, I've told before the story of, you know, the, the one time I remember throwing a controller um, was Rogue Galaxy on PS2. At the time, I used the Logitech um, wireless controller for PS2. And the final boss, like... So the game has a has a, a block mechanic that you that it never really incentivizes you to 
learn to use. Like there's, it's just, it's never really that necessary. And, you know, I, I tend to gravitate toward dodging rather than blocking in games, unless yeah. like blocking is like well integrated as like a central, like critical mechanic to the game. And I'm fine with that. But if you, if you don't force me to use blocking, I, I, I tend to not. Um, and so the final boss is this like, you know, it has like, I don't know, something like five forms. And it's, it, you know, it takes like 45 to 60 minutes to get through the whole boss fight sequence. And like at the very end of the final form, there's this big attack that it does. And like, I just, I did not understand why I died all of a sudden. And I'm like, what just happened? Oh, I can't and believe so I, I beat that boss. Like, oh, only using melee. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how I did it. And then I was like, well, I'll try. And it was like late at night. I was like, well, you know, it was, it was Friday. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll, or, or it might have been Saturday. It was a weekend. And I was like, I'll try. I'll, I'll try it again. It, probably the same thing won't happen again. The exact same thing happened again. I'm like, what the heck? I, like, I couldn't have seen that coming. There was like no, like, uh, I was, uh, and I threw that Logitech controller down and it, like, I remember it like spun on its side and like went way off onto the like right side of the room. It's the only time I remember throwing a controller. So I like, I rage quit for the night, but then I, I, I beat it the next morning. I, I figured it out. Like I figured out, like, I think what they want me to do there is block, but I don't know how I would have ever like known to block. There. Mm. Like it, it just, it seemed too. Um, yeah. It just, it just didn't seem like something you would block. And furthermore, I just never had incentive to block for the rest of the game. Like something that I just like was so angry at that I just like quit and didn't come back to it. Um, that I'm not. That I yeah, wouldn't I'm not be sure, sure if I have like anything. About. Like, I mean, there's got to be like something that I like sold at some point because I'm just like, nope. Um, <laughs> absolutely not. Absolutely. Well, I mean, what about um. Like, like something like Nino Kuni comes to mind, where it's like it's not that. Like, I wouldn't say it was like rage quit, but I was just like, this is the least fun RPG battle <laughs> system I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'm, I'm done. Never again. Not once. Not never. I, you know, I actually, you know, I, I, I you know, instead of, uh, instead of working on, you know, my, my games I pledged to beat, you know, I, I spent a little time, like, it's like, tinkering around with, with, like, Game Pass games recently. Great use of my time. <laughs> um, but I, I tried Nino Kuni, uh, or Nino Kuni 2, rather. Yeah. Which, first of all, I, I had, like, no idea that it's, like, an action RPG. Like, I, uh, I guess... Like, I, I had like an it, idea, but... It's completely different. Um, but, but anyway... Um, like, you are, you are, like, literally escaping through the sewers within, like, 20 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> so, you're saying that I would probably really like it. Yeah. It seems love like... My kind it, of it doesn't seem great like the i've like heard the, that it's it's actually pretty good though i mean it, it seems like at least from a gameplay standpoint see, it does seem better better than the uh than the, the, the original but yeah uh but it, it, at the same time it doesn't feel like the combat doesn't feel like anything special it feels very weightless i see but it 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 felt like it 
it felt decent. Like, it felt like something I would probably enjoy if I committed to it. But yeah, it's like, <laughs> you, you are in the sewers so dang quick. <laughs> like, uh, I was talking about that time to crate thing. Like, we, we should come up with a with a time to, to escape through the sewers. Wait, wait, time well, to crate? It doesn't have to be escape through the sewers, but that's like, that's like the trope of all tropes, though. It's like escaping through the sewers. What is time to crate? Oh, I, I thought we talked about. Mm -mm. Or maybe it was back longer you used to talk about. I, I didn't know about this. Jo John told me about but it's apparently this, like, old thing from like quite a long time ago like some old website that came up with like a review method of a game yeah that is that is called like time to create and uh like basically like the more time it takes before you see your first crate in a, in a video game the better the game is Interesting. <laughs> the, the idea being like, I guess that like crates are just so boring. Yeah. Like they, they ran out of ideas. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, just put it in a crate. <laughs> yeah. Because I mean, think about like, like I encounter crates in video games. Like, I mean, almost every video game has crates. Yeah. But like, like how many how many things that you would define as a crate are in your house? I don't know. Like not not very many. Like crates are not something you would interact with on a day, daily basis. Yeah. How do I get through here? There was also three dollars from Bag of Schmidt. Ooh, thank you. Saying, uh, do you guys have any games you would consider a 10 out of 10? Obviously, doesn't mean flawless or perfect. That's probably unachievable. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, Link to the Past for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I feel like yeah, that I, about I the first Lunar. Like, I feel like it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, Space Harrier is a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I mean, I'd say that probably Outrun is 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Maybe even. Outrun 2, probably even more so, probably. The 10 out of 10. Uh, yeah, Link to the Past. Super Metroid, um, good. That's a good <laughs> Rumble Roses. Um, Super Mario 64. Um, Mario 3. Mario 1, honestly, for me. Um... I don't know why. Like, I Chrono remember. Trigger. Yeah, Chrono Trigger is a good example. Final Fantasy 3 or 6. 6J. Yeah. Or 4, even more so, I think. Yeah, like, I mean, you know, there, there's there's a lot of examples where it's like, like, like it says, it doesn't mean flawless or perfect. That's probably un unachievable. Like, like, sometimes there's, like, games that, like, I consider like perfect, but there might be more flawed perfect. games that I personally like more. But it's just like the more perfect game is like it it achieved everything it set out to do at a very high level. Whereas some mm. of the flawed games maybe, you know, had some elements that felt unfinished or not fully realized. Um but you know, something bad just comes together as something really special. But like, you know, I like when you say like Final Fantasy 4, like I consider Final Fantasy 6 to be the better game, but Final Fantasy 4 is just like, not to say that Final Fantasy 6 has any particular flaws, but something about Final Fantasy 4 is just like so perfectly paced. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, that's really the thing with that. You know, like I, I, I when I feel like uh, maybe 4 is when I start to go the other way like think like oh well maybe 6 is better mm -hmm. I always like to look at my save file 
uh, for my first playthrough of Final Fantasy IV, and it says 19 hours and 19 minutes. It says 1919. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. I mean... And and the thing is, is like it is it's hard for me to believe that you were that fast. Like I don't, I don't. The first time I played through it, certainly wasn't that fast. Well, I was, probably I was more experienced at RPGs probably at the time. Yeah, true. Uh, but I mean, I feel like now that just like feel like it, it, it's even more impressive because like because so much happens in that game. You know what I mean? Like just so much mm -hmm. happens and in uh, Final Fantasy 4. Like, you go, like, you go to the freaking moon! Which yeah. is, is, like, one of the best moments in a video game, I think. Oh, yeah. And, you know, like, I wish that a Final Fantasy game would do something like that again. You know what I mean? Like, I was starting, like, you know, I guess, I mean, like, like, spoilers for Final Fantasy 16. Uh... But I, I found myself hoping throughout the entire game that you were going to go to that red star that was in the Oh, sky. yeah, 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 same here. Like, something was going to happen, and you're going to go that go to that red star. I feel like... And then it, like, and then it was just nothing. And it was just nothing. And it like I feel like that was a real missed opportunity to do something like that. Yeah. Well, I mean, Final Fantasy fourteen definitely goes pretty far, I'll say. But it's also had, like... A decade to tell its story, so yeah. it has to go far, right? Right. You definitely go places. Hmm. Uh, Outplays and pains says Ar Skies of Arcadia. Absolutely, Skies of Arcadia is a ten out of ten. Yeah, I see. See a number of good ones mentioned here. You know, Kirby Superstar, Donkey Kong Country Two, Yoshi's Island. Yoshi's Island is like, see, like that one's like, how how do you rate something like that? Because like. Like, a big part of the appeal <laughs> of a lot of Mario games to me are their replayability, and I've never found Yoshi's Island to be particularly replayable. Um, like, it's, it's like, a 10 out of 10, like, first-time experience. But, like, I, I always, like... I, I, I don't often get all the way through a replay of it. Mm-hmm. I'd say, like, Resident Evil 4. Okay. Like, I played that a lot. So, you fi did you finish the new version? No, I'm I'm still in the castle. Um, I mean, I know you, you were, like, real nervous about them being able to, like, pull it off. Do you feel like they I, really, they definitely pulled I, it off, I though? think they, they I mean, it's clear they knew, I mean... It's clear they knew that they had to, you know, achieve a certain level of B-movie cheese, right? Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, you know they, re, you know they re, reuse some some lines, they modify some lines, they have some new lines. Uh, overall, I think the original probably hits the mark more often, but uh, it, it's clear they they understood what they needed to do. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm, 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 I'm really pleased, but yeah, I mean, I'm only, you know, playing it on Mondays, so it's taking a while. I, I'll probably, I did one bonus stream, like after the first week and I'll probably end up doing another, I'll probably have to end up doing another. And I'm, I, I think I'm going to play separate ways as well. So, um, So I, I'll probably have to do a couple of bonus streams to finish. I mean, I, I and you know, in terms of uh, you, know, you know, this this will be you know more recent games, but like I, I I think I might consider Resident Evil Two remake a ten out of ten, hmm. and Resident Evil One remake. Like I, I, you know, I, like Resident Evil Two Remake. 
is almost certainly my favorite game of like the 2010s that wasn't <laughs> released by Nintendo. Huh. Like I, I I think Resident Evil 2 remake is just an incredible, incredible game. These uh I, I am really enjoying Resident Evil 4 remake, but until I get to the end, you know, I can't say how close uh you know how close it will be to Resident Evil 2 remake for me. I see. But um I, I really, really like it. It's very, very good. It's close. It's close, but I can't say like does it does it match and exceed what Resident Evil 2 remake did? I'm not sure. Yeah. Um it, it it's 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 a sight better than Resident Evil 3 remake. Which was I mean it was fine. It definitely had some major <laughs> flaws, but Yeah. Um, you know, it just it wasn't all that it could have been. Henry Clark says RE2 remake above Breath of the Wild. That's why I say from a developer that, that isn't Nintendo. <laughs> Breath of the Wild, I mean, and Breath of the Wild is really hard to rank because Tears of the Kingdom exists. And like, Breath of the Wild is just an incredible, incredible experience. But it, I, I, is it, is it, is it strange to say that like Tears of the Kingdom might retroactively make Breath of the Wild less good? Um, I don't think that's a very fair thing to say. <laughs> it's yeah. not, but I mean, if you uh, see no desire, if you have no desire to replay Breath of the Wild again, uh, I can understand that. But I don't think it takes away like the experience that you had with it. Oh no, 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 no! Which no, I think absolutely. is like one of the things absolutely. that made it so good. Like, right, right, right. Like, but the, I'm just uh, saying, like, 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 like in terms of like wanting to play again. Like it, it might be a little hard to go back to after Tears of the Kingdom. I actually booted it up briefly just to take a look at it, like after finishing Tears of the Kingdom, because I'm just like, I want to see like how similar this feels. And one thing that surprised me was that the combat is much more sluggish. Hmm. Like maybe not much more sluggish, but I noticed. I noticed that it didn't have the same speed and rhythm to it. was a five dollar uh or oh excuse me there was yet again from rooster 5150 <laughs> so, sorry sorry for the previous comment uh getting us uh, sidetracked there saying thank you for responding <laughs> love y'all's content well thank you you've been very very generous tonight uh and then there was also a five dollar super chat from robert hernandez thank you thank you and happy Sunday, everyone. The stream has kept me company whilst I assemble a new TV stand and install colored LEDs in the game room. I mean, Ooh. why not? You know, I, I I was shooting B-roll today of, because like, I didn't want, like I wanted to shoot B-roll of like putting Everdrives in my systems and stuff, but I'm like, I don't, I don't want to move anything. I just want to shoot them where they are. And like, I realized like in my new setup, that like shooting systems where they are is just the lighting is really bad and so mm -hmm. i had to like you know move around the video lights a lot and put them in sort of awkward positions to get the lighting to look halfway decent and it kind of made me think like i wonder if i should like try to install some sort of like rgb lighting that would make shooting video in those smaller spaces look less at least look interesting. <laughs> yeah. And, and I was kind of looking at the, you know, the, the art, the blue lighting, like behind your game shelves. And 
you know, so, I, I'm all like, I've looked at RGB lighting a whole bunch of times, but I've, I've always, I mean, for one, I would never use it. Like, unless it was for a video shot, mm -hmm. like I just wouldn't want it on. Yeah. Um, but you know, the only reason for it would be to look cool in a video. Yeah, I mean that's um, I it's like those that blue lighting that's behind the shelves, like in behind the entertainment center, like never turns yeah. on unless I'm You're shoot. shooting video. Yeah. Well I wanted to ask like what like I, like do you like it? Like where where because the what the thing is like, you know, I one of the reasons I've always shied away from RGB lighting is because, you know, sometimes it it, it it creates a shutter effect on cameras, right? Right. Well, this does. These you, don't. And especially... And those don't. So that's why, that's why, you know, I would be tempted to get what you have because... Right, you know that right. it won't do that. Yeah. Oh, there we go. That's I mean, I've got RGB bulbs, you know, and I do use those some for, you know, shots to make it look cool at, at times. But, um, I, uh, where's the exit on this level? Hang on, I'm just like, I don't have any, like, shelf RGB lighting. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I don't know. They are totally fine for what I use them for, but I, I don't turn that stuff on unless I have like a specific reason to turn it on. Ariel Aces wants to know, should I buy Vampire Survivors for $5 on Switch? I think and, it's totally, uh, like it is totally worth it for five bucks. It's The game is ridiculously cheap. Um, And and you're going to show us in a little bit here, aren't you? Yeah, when uh, I finish this level, I'll, I'll play around. Um, Don't forget to write down your password. Yeah, I think I got to beat this boss too but i'm not sure like we'll see how hard that is um if i can find the stupid exit to this level i'm do i'm in a, i'm in good shape here where the heck is the, I'm, I'm just looking at the map here. yeah i mean i don't know maybe you don't want to buy it because it'll distract you from other games it sounds like i mean yeah there's not i don't think it, that matters like you just you <laughs> play it because you, you came up play with it. ten games to pledge to beat it. It matters. Uh, let, I, I should get back to um, my my list of of potential pledge games. Uh, you know, what was that just they popped in my head, oh, so right, I just yeah. wrote them down as a possibility. You know, I mentioned you know PS One, Final Fantasy Tactics or Vagrant Story maybe. Um, PS Two Jack Two. No, oh. have on there. PS3, I was pondering perhaps Heavenly Sword or Ashura's Wrath. Yeah. You know, I was thinking about Heavenly Sword for like, you know, like, need me a short one. Yeah, that's like a one sitting game, probably. Yeah. You know what? Um, You know what I booted up for the first time while capturing footage for this uh, accessories episode? I, I booted up Rise Son of Rome. Oh, okay. And, you know, it kind of made me think like, oh, you know, this feels like this feels like even though it was a different generation, it feels like this was like Xbox's Heavenly Sword. Yes. Right? Like For, it, it, for sure. Something yes. about it kind of gave me a similar vibe. In a way. Um, okay, now this would be a this would be probably a time-consuming one, but I was pondering for PS4, I was pondering Sekiro, maybe? Uh, I started yeah. that on a stream. I played about four hours on a backloggery stream. Uh, and it was really good, but I never got back to it. Yeah. Um, but that that would definitely be a, a challenging one and one that could take some time, to, potentially. Um, for Xbox, I, I, I think this one's a shoe in I think this one's definitely going to make the list. Uh, Blink's the Time Sweeper. Ooh. Um, Xbox 360, I... Do I just got to go back to the entrance, you think? If I only pick one RPG, I would kind of like for it to be this. This is a game that I, I started before and really, really loved, but never finished. Yeah, I guess so. And that's Lost Odyssey. Oh, jeez, this is not... I need to... I definitely start it all over, but... I would what is, love what's going for on Lost here? Odyssey. You're going to do... The, you're going to do... The, hit me with that? 
Oh no. I don't remember this at all. You have to make platforms as you go? Oh jeez. Oh, is that Serpentor? Xbox One, I was right, I got in June 2016. General Hawk. Uh, for PC Engine, I was thinking about Jackie Chan's Action Kung Fu. You know, I, I almost beat that off. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> kind of on the Joe team. He's just got he's just got this huge, like, smile on his face. He looks like he's, he's he definitely looks like somebody's dad. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I bet Jack she's Zartan. Kung Fu for PC Engine. Because I, I, I played that on a Emily stream, but I didn't finish it. For Genesis, I was thinking about Lightning Force, which I got recently. Oh, yeah. For Saturn, I was thinking about Dark Savior, maybe. That's, that's such a weird game from what I've played. Yeah, um, you know, I know I think I can put on mine is, is Landstalker. You know, I, I I have been thinking more and more recently, like, eh, you know, maybe maybe I should get Landstalker sometime. I, I kind of... <laughs> I thought you had it for some reason. No, I've been afraid of it. <laughs> what, are you, uh, what are you afraid of it? What makes you afraid of it? Like, you're afraid you don't like... You because I've played Alundra. Oh, well, this is probably is like considered better, I think. I think so, yeah. I mean, Alundra, like, I want to love Alundra. Like, I love the music. I love how it looks. But man, like, after, like, the first few hours, the, the level design is real bad. Hmm. Lady Stalker, I do have that one. Um, but it's, it's supposedly easier. So I'm, I'm curious about that one. That, that one seems fun. And then there's Time Stalker. I don't... Yeah. I don't have that one either. That was, as far as Dreamcast games go, that's relatively cheap, though, I think. Um, now, for Dreamcast, on my, my maybe list... Uh, I think I think I think I, I I feel like this one has a really high chance of making the making the final list. <laughs> I, like, I have hang on. I have uh, I have D two on. Uh, oh, have you ever played? Have you played the first one? Yeah, okay. I loved it. Then, Laura. Yeah, I, I have the I have the the Saturn version of it. I loved it. That was great. Um. Uh, Caitlin Kira says Lady Stalker. I don't think that name is really suitable for the modern era. Well, I mean, that, that name is not suitable, like, outside Japan. <laughs> like, they probably weren't even thinking about, like, the implications of, like, what that name would mean. Yeah. But you are the lady! Yes. And you, you are, I, I don't know, even know what stalker is supposed to mean in the stalker series. But oh, I think it's just it's Lady Stalker because it's the Stalker series and you're a lady, so it's Lady Stalker. Yeah. I mean, I think that's just the whole. That's the very, like, as far as, like, the uh, thinking of the name. Yeah. Goes, like, it, they, they, yeah. Oh, I, I don't I don't think the people coming up with the series name thought about it very deeply at all. They just, they just thought, like, oh, that's a, that's a cool sounding English word. Yeah. It has nothing to do with stalking or being yeah. stalked. Do you think the football guy like shoots footballs out of his guns? What next music says Lady Stalker. Are we talking about the sequel that didn't happen? No, there there is a Lady Stalker. It's on Super Famicom. It's only in Japan. It's like a dirt cheap game. Actually. 
Um, for NES, I was thinking about Adventure Island or Willow, perhaps. Ooh, Willow would be fun. I bet you'd like Willow. I, I have you ever, have you played much of it? No, not really. But it's kind of like, like isn't it kind of like a Crystalis type? Yeah, yeah, kind of a Zelda Crystalis yeah. kind of thing. I, I I think I'll like it too. Like that that's that's like a game that you know my cousin had that like I never really played much of, but like it it really like always made an impression on me because like it's just it's got a very striking sort of pastel color palette I think and um also I like um uh like when when you encounter monsters like the music gets really ominous and like like the 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 grass that like wind blows through the grass and trees and like I always thought it was like really scary <laughs> uh I thought it was cool um, yeah, the, uh, Super Nintendo, I, I don't think I, it, I, I don't think if, if, if I, if I set an RPG quota, I don't think this would necessarily count against it, but I'll, I, I'd be curious what you would think, uh, Illusion of Gaia. Ooh, I played it. Well, I just played that this year. Uh, You'd beaten it before though, hadn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I replayed it for the first time. Um, really? Yeah, wow, I, I, I played it when I had COVID. That. Oh, how long? How long did it take you? <laughs> Come on! Oh my gosh! I go through all that at the end. I'm just gonna. Uh, I mean, I th I'm pretty sure I like I finished it in in like a week, but like not even that. Like it's probably uh. It's not that long. Just a real good game, though. Wow, looks like Lord X Mugen got some some good deals on some some guides recently. Oh. You know, I I was um I I was thinking earlier today because uh, Henry Clark posted in the Discord channel about got a got the hard cover. Final Fantasy 13 guide for 13 bucks, which which I have, and like that was like really useful to have just like a physical reference while yeah, uh, like doing uh, doing the platinum trophy. Um, I didn't use it before I beat the game. I probably didn't buy it until after I, I beat the game, actually. But um, then I, I got the guide for 13 too as well, because I also wanted to get the platinum trophy in that. And I, you know, I was thinking about like I think that's like the last game guide I've bought. Oh really? Like like the, the, like bought like new like with the game like w when it when it I mean not necessarily with the game but like bought when the game was new. To, like actually right. New, right? Um, like I, I bought like a Dragon Quest four guide that I saw in Japan, but. That doesn't really count. It's, it wasn't like new. I feel like I really gotta conserve ammunition. So. Yeah, Lord of X Fusion says great for the art, which VSB guys have a lot of. Oot is Oot guide is legendary for that. I mean, I that was the main reason I actually got guides back in the day. Like a lot of like the Nintendo Power guides. Um, because they had like artwork of like the bosses and, and enemies and stuff and like I like I used to, I mean I, I used to be really big into drawing you know in elementary and middle and high school and you know I, I liked to draw the characters so I liked having the guides for those references of like what the characters you know, look like other than a sprite. I also was really into for a while. I was really into making like clay figures, you know, right? Sculpt, sculpt, sculpt D three. Yeah, it was called the the clay that you bake in the oven. And I, I made a ton of like you know, you know, Mario RPG and uh, Yoshi's Island and Donkey Kong Country characters. 
out of clay and I, you know, I, I bought the guide so I could like have reference for what those characters look like. Um, for N64, I, I jotted down Space Station Silicon Valley, which is something I started last year. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I could probably just continue it. Like, I probably wouldn't have to restart it, but we'll, we'd see. Well, I'll, I'll see. But that, that's definitely something I'm pondering. Um, Come on! <laughs> and another... An Same another guy! Oh, my gosh. Come on. Um. For GameCube, yeah, here's another one. I, I streamed this on, on a backloggery stream. Um, or not backloggery, uh, excuse me, on, on an M-Link stream. Star Fox Assault. That I would restart, cause, just because I feel like I'd really struggle just like picking up mid-game, relearning the mechanics. Um... For Wii, I was thinking about maybe Lost in Shadow or Dragon Quest Swords. Hmm. For Switch, I'm thinking about Great Ace Attorney 2. Oh, is that the ones? No, I mean yet. they're both. No, they're. I mean they're both. They're both in the, in in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles collection. It's. I mean it's both games, mm -hmm. but I've only played the first. Did I say Star Fox Adventures? I meant Star Fox Assault. I've beaten Star Fox Adventures. Yeah, Assault is should not be much of a problem. No, it's just... Hey, you know, I just need to get it done. That's why I'm thinking of putting it on the list. <laughs> Gotta get it done. Gotta get it done. That's what... I'm sure I'm sure that's like, like the kind of saying that developers love to hear. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, oh, he's just, you know, he's got to get it done. Yeah. <laughs> good good yeah. for, like, enjoying the game, you know, like, wanting to play it. Like, oh, you know, I get that one done. That's why I always, like, <laughs> laugh whenever I hear people say, like, oh, I got to work on the game. Work on this game. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, like, a very similar yeah. uh, outlook, I guess. Like, you shouldn't, you shouldn't view it as, like, oh, I'm working on it. Working on this game. You know? Oh, Ariel Aces wants to know if the DLC for Vampire Survivors is worth it. Yeah, well, especially since it's so cheap. It's like, I don't even know, like, what is in the DLC. Because I just bought them both at the same time. Sorry, I'm trying to beat this level so I could do it. But I'm not sure if it's going to... I don't know if it's going to happen. Well, you can use the password to continue here, can't you? Nah, I think it takes me to the first area of this. Oh, is this the third area? Yeah. Well, at least there's no, uh, no places you have to lay bombs here. Well, I mean, that's the main reason I want to get this part done, because I don't want to do the bomb level again. Yeah. Oh, speaking of 10 out of 10, <laughs> Joshua Helmke donated $2 Super Chat. Thank you. Saying I can't recommend Lost in Shadow enough. Ten out of ten. I, I played it on um on a uh, a game a Wii games I've never booted stream. Which that that was a pretty fun one, I thought. Um, a pretty fun system to to stream uh, stream random games I've never booted. Uh, yeah. That, what? That, who that, is that guy? Like, like, there's just like this random dude, just flies by. Is that same spot every time? Yeah, I don't know if I start right there, if it sends me back to the beginning of the level. I think it does send me back to the beginning of the level. I can, I'm gonna find out. Why can't there be like a vehicle on this one? I actually wish I was just playing on the Ever Driver. I was like a just make a save state on this level and continue here.
that dude just like always gets me like right at the end of this level. And like that that section looks so similar to several other sections you've gone through, so it's like hard to tell it's coming. Yeah. There he is again! He just like What like that asshole. Ugh. Just comes out of nowhere like hey it's like hey guys. I, I want to use the blizzard guy. Like, I should have used him. Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> the idea of, like, that guy. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Just shows up. Hey guys. Is that, is that, is that, is that his uh, G.I. Joe PSA voice? <laughs> I guess. He just appears and like, flies hey, by. Hey, like, hey guys. What's going on? <laughs> hey dude, what's up? <laughs> uh there was a five dollar super chat from shadow mask thank you saying uh, have you guys scrutinized every frame of the ff7 rebirth trailer or are you waiting for it to drop uh, i i held myself to just watching it the one time yeah because... i just watched it once too good gracious did it look good <laughs> yeah i mean it looks good like, I mean... it looked it looked like i don't know like like the the previous trailer looked really good too but like somehow, like the the new one was just like, like it got me pretty hyped. I gotta say, it looked it looked really really good. Yeah, but I've seen it all. I need to see. Yes, I'm gonna try to not watch anything else for it. Yeah, <laughs> Shabbat says it's so dense. So dense. It, uh... Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's dense. There's just, like, so much stuff in it. Yeah. Which is why I don't want to watch it again, because, you know, like, I don't, I don't want all that stuff to be too burned into my brain before I, I get a chance to see it in the game. Yeah. See, I think the last mission is just one level, too. I'm gonna... <laughs> I was figuring out what I wanted to do there. And the bolts, like... Just fly down the, the hole. So your grenades are infinite? I think so. It's kind of funny, really. It's interesting how there's like little parts of this game I remember and a lot of other parts I just don't remember at all. All these enemies are giving me a lot of time still like managing to miss all of them. Uh, I love the use of your Beecher Glasses Popeye face. There he was! I had, like, didn't I? I, I'm done. I'm done. Like, that stupid guy. Like, I feel like he hits you one time and he takes off, like, way more life. He's just, like, a one-hit kill or something? I don't know. Well, why don't you cool off with some vampires? <laughs> Oh, 
Well, that that'll answer uh, Rooster Five One Fifty's question of name the game that made you rage quit. GI <laughs> Joe. <laughs> I mean, I I got it. I, mean, I can. I can do it. I mean, you, I don't know if you wrote down your password, but you can look up. Yeah, I can look it up. It's, I'm sure it's the same, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't think there was any like. There was nothing you were like collecting along the way that would like make your individual password unique. No. Yeah. I just realized. I think this is the first time I've played this like not in handheld mode. Really? Yeah, I've only played it in handheld mode. I wonder if it looks better or worse. Uh, we're gonna find out, I guess. Together. Together. Well, it's definitely going to look the worst on our end after the compression. Yes. I mean, you stream at a, a pretty high bit rate, I believe. Yeah. Since your internet can handle it, but. Yeah, this is the first time I've not, not played it on, in handheld, so we'll see. I mean, you can play the game with one hand if you want to. I wish that you could make one of the shoulder buttons like select the item oh like that like just you could play handheld with just like one joy con because that sounds kind of kind of great i wonder if he could like in all honesty that like that dashboard icon like the switch dashboard icon like you could tell me that was like for a castlevania game and i would believe you all right so i'm gonna do i think the inlaid library is like a level that I have not unlocked. Like, to, I'm going to try to survive for 31 minutes. Because when you hit 30 minutes, like, these things show up that, like, kill you. Mm -hmm. um, so this guy gets, like, a free revive. So I'll just do this one. What do you game of obsession says? Hey, try nice shirt. I got that same one for Christmas a couple of years ago. I also got this for Christmas a couple of years ago. There's a pentagram, even though... I'm sure there's like people that are uh, like very hardcore into this. Will criticize my loadouts, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> like, like the quality of the of like the tiling is so bad. Yeah, I mean it's it is incredible. <laughs> it's like. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> right though it's kind of like incredible in like the most ridiculous kind of way yeah like it's like boy that sure is a repeating pattern <laughs> yes it is i mean it's unbelievable that i have like played this game as much as i have matt hm says this game actually looks pretty good i i hope by looks pretty good you're talking about the gameplay and not the visuals. I mean, it sure does not look the thing is good. like, it's weird because like, there's not much to the gameplay. Like this is like you attack automatically. So you just move. <laughs> you just move. Yes. Like you don't even aim. No, you move left and right. And you, well, all, like, the, all the weapons have different like patterns. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> it is, it is the most baffling thing that I can think of. And, I, you know, you I can't explain it. I can't explain... <laughs> I can't explain, like, why it's so fun. <laughs> it's, it's, it's... I've never played a game like this before that I've just, you know... I, I put in, like, like, over 20 hours into this game. Wait, you, really? Yeah. Wow. I mean, you guys, like, played for 20 hours or more. <laughs> That's amazing. Right? I can't believe it. So I'll do the clover. I want to, like, Master Safer says, turns out, turns out Corey loves tower defense when he is the tower. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I guess so. Like that's fine because you you know it's like it's all about like avoiding it, avoiding uh, enemies. Like it's it is like it's I can't 
can't I can't explain it. I cannot explain it. Uh, it is. There's like just something about it that makes me like want to keep on coming back to it. <laughs> and like you know, I'll do like a run like before I go to bed. L like, have you done anything that? Like, 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 would you consider yourself to have beaten the game? No, I think that I, I'm not sure what it takes to get like credits. In it. You know, the, the the way the damage numbers look are like straight out of like Egovania. Yes. I mean, I had like them turned 100%. off for a while. Huh? <laughs> uh, I had them turned off for a, a while once. I guess it's helpful to. I mean, I it does, in some ways it seems silly to have them on, but you know, it does yeah. make sense that you would need to know like how much better are your attacks. Yeah, and there, there's like a bunch of levels, but like not so many that it's like, oh my god, I don't like know how I play all these levels. There's like not very many levels, but there's a bunch. Uh, I mean, is there much of anywhere to go? No, it just like repeats. Like, does it does it behoove you to, like, explore the level versus no, just stay no, in the same general no. area? You got you got this map, and it shows. Oh, we got these items we can grab if we keep on going that way, and like literally, it just repeats over and over and over again until you get to that point. You can't you can't make it up. You can't make it up. I'm I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but there's <laughs> there, there's a level where you only fight skeletons. <laughs> the level's called the Bone Zone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like, I can't. I and the thing is, it's like you look up anything, and it's and. It, and uh, I'm not alone. Like, people have put in, like, I saw, like, a Facebook post from a friend, and someone said, like, replied to it saying, like, talking about this game. And that was kind of, like, one of the things that I read that made me want to, like, check it out. And then I was, like, looking at replies, and someone says, I've put over 800 <laughs> hours into this game. <laughs> <laughs> 800 <laughs> hours. I, wow. It can't. I can't. I can't. I can't explain it. Can't explain that. <laughs> I mean, you know, you play one one run a night, you know, 30 minutes. Like, that can add up over time. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's just it's just like stupidly simple. And it gets it gets real intense. You'll see like how it gets intense. Like this is like nothing. Does does it have music? Yeah, it does have music. Does is it good music? Uh, you know, it's not bad. Mm. I need a is what I need. I'm going to try and last the 31 minutes and Sometimes you just need to tank through it. <laughs> Video Game Obsession says, I'm, I'm not sure I've even put that much time into Super Mario Bros. And I've been playing it since 1985. I know. I mean, I do wonder, like, I do wonder, like, how many hours about some played? of those old games, like, yeah, like Mario 64 and Super Mario Brothers and games that I've just played so much. You know, if you add all that and, and not not just playing, but also like just like booting it up, like while testing like stuff for videos, like not even just playing it to play it. Right. Like how much would all that add up for some of these games? Yeah. Like, you know. Something like an MMO, like Final Fantasy 11 or. 14 is like surely near the top of like my, just hanging out up here. my hours put into 
a game, but you know, when you think of these like longtime favorites and games that you just replay again and again and again, like, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, like, how does that add I've up? I've played a lot of Mario 1 and a lot of Mario 3 and a lot of Mario 64. I've played a lot of those. Yeah, it's funny though. I mean, there's it like definitely like lifts characters and stuff from like other games mm -hmm. like the, it makes like little sprite versions of them and like never says like who they are like there's definitely like a bayonetta character oh yeah that shoots like, like bullets like uh into like an x pattern that the you play as or that you yeah. fight against yeah that you that you play as there's a well, ton of and who's your playing is what looks like a vampire yeah, I mean this is just so. Like one so, of... are you the vampire who is a survivor? I, I, I think no, you no, no. You're like way, you are way overthinking it. You're way overthinking it. It's just like you unlock characters, and they all have like different attributes, like different like buffs that they start with. So, who do you start with? Uh, there's a, it's a like a Simon Belmont type guy is like the first character you have. It has like a whip. Okay. Now, what what makes you play is is this? You band? just unlock characters by doing, like meeting certain requirements. Mm -hmm. But I picked this guy, like so. I'm trying to. I have like one more um, thing to unlock that is uh, gives you like a perk at the beginning of the a round, and there's like 23 of them or something like that. And I have one more left to unlock. And I the only way I can achieve that is by le for is living for 31 minutes on this level. And once, which is not hard until you, like, when you hit 30 minutes, like, these, like, Grim Reapers come at you, and they basically, like, latch on you and, like, drain your energy, like, immediately, and you die. And you have to, like, figure out ways to survive. Or, uh, you want to, like, buff your character enough to, like, survive it for at least one minute. R writes too much says this game is pure gameplay loop nothing else pure loop <laughs> it, that, that is exactly what it is it's you can't i mean is anybody else in the chat like play it like have you have i mean it sounds like a lot of people play there was a 199 from broken halo thank oh. you saying you should try hollow cure this but prettier and free I, I wonder if that's the game that um that drum said we had a we had a, a, a directorship request for on the backlogger. Um, I mean, like I think that this is like all I need. <laughs> I don't need a, another one. You'll need you'll you'll you'll, you'll need to dig deeper into the into the genre. No, there is nothing what? else. Like I don't even care if it's prettier. It doesn't like. I I feel like in a way like the jank is kind of a feature. At this point. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm I'm looking at screenshots of this hollow. So Keegan I'm... Jacobson is saying I unlocked everything. One of the best games I've ever played. Loved every minute. And like it's better the more you play and finding what works best for you. I I I, I gotta be honest, I'm looking at this hollow cure and I think it might look worse. Uh, <laughs> like visually. It, it's I don't know, it's it's pretty ugly. Like the the thing I'll give it is that the background tiling is better, but like all the sprites that are running around and items and stuff going around the screen look worse. Backgrounds do look better, but everything else looks kind of worse. So if if ugly is part of the feature, uh, then uh, you know maybe they achieved it. That. I'll do that, and I will hold out for the uh, the tiramisu because that'll like let me live. And, uh, the spinach, spinach like makes your attack stronger. <laughs> spinach. I mean, it, it, I mean, if, if people even given this genre a name yet there or is it just vampire su survivor clones i mean i don't know like i do not know what would you call this 
I, I feel like it's more like a keep away. <laughs> Keepy away. I don't know. It's... You, basically, what you're trying to do is just, like, avoid touching the enemies. Or, if you do touch them, like, make... Hopefully, you're, like, strong enough to survive it. Mm. Which isn't that hard. I mean, once you know how to play it, like, it's not that hard. It's, like, meeting certain requirements to unlock stuff is, I think, is, like, where the difficulty comes in. And you can make it more difficult if you want to. R rides too much says, I really like the barbarian guy with the daggers. Every weapon you pick up with him automatically starts upgrade to level two. Oh. Grab the Bible and garlic with him, and you're on your way to cheese the game. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of ways to cheese the game. <laughs> Trust me, like the the whole the game like encourages you to cheese it. I think. <laughs> I love Joshua Helmicky's use of your of your your, your whole looking over the feature glasses and going spinach. <laughs> <laughs> spinach. <laughs> It's Robotron without borders. You know, you you linked me after the stream last week that you know Popeye the yeah. movie is free. Did, and I, on, did you watch uh, it? I, I did not watch it, but like I I like I, I like just like just, I just like jumped around a little bit in the in the in the timeline, like just 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 took a peek at a a few scenes, and it like it seems like complete nonsense. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I would expect any different though. Pretty much. Are, are are the gyms the experience points? Yes. Yep. Mega X six is they called it a Atari Gauntlet clone? I, I don't know. Would I mean, you I don't know if it's like like I don't think I'd compare it to Gauntlet. I mean, it's... It's like a mobile game. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> Honestly. can't. It just makes no sense. But the thing is, it's just very easy to uh, just turn your brain off. And let, like, let, let, let the world just like fade away. <laughs> Sometimes that's what you need. Sometimes that's exactly what you need. <laughs> I mean, there's just there's not a lot to it. I have I've gotten like out of the un unlocks, I have something like a hundred and thirty six out of one hundred and seventy one. Oh, wow. Elk pays and Plays and Paints says, I was surprised to see that the Popeye movie predates Nintendo's arcade game. I wonder if some people back then assumed the game was based on the movie. Maybe. I wonder. Like, I, I never thought about that, but, I mean, it is a really Spinach. old movie. I mean, it's re really early for Ro Robin Williams. Yeah. It's a Robert Altman movie. I was I was surprised. Who's that? Uh, I mean, he's just a... He's, he was a well-regarded director it's like it's like such a like the movie just feels like a fever dream kind of yeah i mean just from the gl glimpses i i saw that i mean i've all i've never i've always heard this like it, it definitely like, uh, feels as though it's like the existence of it and the style of it is like drug fueled <laughs> It, it it definitely seems pretty pretty wacky. Yeah, I I, I, I should give it a watch. While they built while it's that free. town, and the oh wow they so they built that town in the Popeye movie and it's still there. What? Can you go to it? Where is it? Yeah, I'd be curious. I I I need I need. I need details. Imagine if you were like, oh, I live, yeah, I live in that town. I, li I live in the town from Popeye. For the live action Popeye movie. It was like built. 
uh, for this specifically. Spinach. Okay, okay. There's there's a website for it's PopeyeMalta.com, and it says Popeye Village. Okay, where where is this? Oh, you you can get weddings at Popeye Village. Oh. <laughs> uh, where where the heck is this? The, the 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 website for Popeye Village does not tell you where Popeye Village is. At least that information is not clear <laughs> off offhand Ooh, you can become a member of Popeye Village Ooh. oh okay so this is in Malta real life Sweet Haven can still be found in Malta and you can even get married there that's pretty wild where is Malta I, I, I know the name. I forget if that's in Europe or if it's like an island country. I, I know the name. Southern Europe. Okay, it's like... It's like a teeny tiny island south of Sicily. Oh, weird. Popeye Town. <laughs> there it is. I wonder if they have a media cafe Popeye there. <laughs> Can you believe we never went there? I know. Well, we thought about it. Like, we came close several times, I think. And like, we talked about it. Like, we gotta yeah. go there. I mean, you know, John's in Japan right now. <laughs> yeah, tell him to go to... Uh, tell him to go to media cafe Popeye. You know, we were going to get a picture of you doing the face with the sign for media cafe Popeye in the background. Yeah. But I mean, it, was, it was too humid. Probably. I think. Yeah, it was pretty hot. Level up this pentagram here. Yeah. You, you gonna the gamer has heard that Malta is kind of stuck in a sixties time warp. <laughs> that sounds that sounds fun. It does sound pretty fun. Sounds like a place to go. You gonna is anyone out there buying this? <laughs> after after seeing this stream, are you, are you going and buying are it? Are you buying it at present? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like the download has to be tiny, 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 right? Yeah, I think so, yeah. I don't know, you, like, this is, like, is This is something, you know, like, this is definitely... If if you don't, don't play it and he's like, oh, I've been playing this game, Vampire Saviors, it, or Vampire Survivors. Vampire Saviors, this is the Dark Soccer game. Like, everybody who hears about it is probably like, what? <laughs> when they look at it. Oh, well, yeah. Like, it doesn't matter even if you're into, like, games or, like, not. I think that even even people who don't play games would probably look at this and be like, that? For real? Yeah, I mean, that. I guess... I, I guess, like... Part of it is like you look at it and like it looks ultra complicated, but it's not. Except, you except even, it's even not. Press, you barely even have to press buttons. It's just kind of nice how simple it is, you know. I'm not. I know I'm not even pressing the button. You just move. I can play like this the whole time, except for I need to press the button to select the item. But once you max out all your weapons and stuff, you can have it automatically do it. Like choose like what you want to further upgrade. Mm -hmm. Which I will oh, do. Oh, so 
I, I saw someone say earlier it's on Xbox, but Price oh, is it? You can try it on Game Pass. Is it on Game Pass? This? Maybe. I, 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 I thought it was only on Switch and mobile and, and PC. I saw someone in the chat say it came to Xbox, but I wasn't sure if that was Game Pass or not. Hmm. I mean, I don't know why anybody would want to, like, play it on something that's, like, not on a handheld. Like, that's where I played the, the mo. That's where I've only no, played I, I the need, I need that 4K OLED experience. Yeah. I need to, well, I feel I need like to, you know. That, like, the icons and stuff. Like, imagine those burning in your OLED. OLED. <laughs> Or you're playing on OLED Switch. It's, that's true. That's true. But, oh, it is. So it is on Game Pass. That's that's cool. I mean, I, it was. I mean, it started off as a PC thing. I think. I think it was like a Android, like a phone. Oh, I don't game. know. I could see that like being the appeal of it. Well, if it's on Game Pass, I'll uh, I'll give it a try. Yeah, you might as well. Maybe right? even before I go to bed, if I can get my video segment rendering. <laughs> I, I want to get want to get that one segment rendering. Oh, P PC first, then mobile. Okay. This game, this game has a long and storied history, I guess. <laughs> it's been some places. Yeah, I mean, you know. Coming soon, the Netflix documentary. Yeah. Uh, so the highest level I was able to ever achieve in this so far is like 180. I don't well, know you're if there's a far like, cry I, from that. I know, but like once you kind of get to the end, it's pretty fast and furious. It's a screensaver, basically. Basically. I mean, it's it's pretty watchable uh, with your with your settings, honestly. Yeah. Well, things haven't gotten like really insane yet. Really? <laughs> yeah. When in like the last few minutes, it like things are just like out of control. So it's like time-based triggers. Yes. I mean, when's the last time you haven't survived 30 minutes? Uh, maybe when I was just trying to, like, unlock some certain combo. Because you have, like, so if you open your grimoire, you can, like, see, like, different items will give you certain evolutions of weapons. Mm -hmm. And, like, if I just, like, chose poorly. Because I was trying to, like, unlock something specific. Uh-oh. In, in the span of... This stream, Ariel Aces and his son, has uh, become uh, addicted to <laughs> vampire survivors. <laughs> well, you're just getting started. <laughs> I mean, when I say out of control, like, there's just like a lot of enemies on the screen. Is is this like the most time you've put into like a digital game in years? Um, I don't know. I probably not. But it's just it. It's just like a, it's just like a really nice thing to be able to play, like to wind down because it's it's not stressful. I don't think. It, see, it looks like if you were to just show someone a video of it, you would think it is. Right, but it's like it's just not. Like I just, you just once you get to this point, you're just like plowing through the enemies <laughs> and all those numbers. It's like like a modern RPG, an action RPG, right there. Or if this has the most numbers per second of any video game in existence. <laughs> I mean, it's possible. Uh, eight more minutes. 
I don't know. I think it's worth it because, you know, the game knows. Or the people who make the game know. They know. Whatever, whatever you, you know, like... They, they they know what they've made <laughs> or or that the single person who made it knows what they've made well and... yeah like I told like I told you they 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 program slot machines right is their day job yeah I mean they they know they know that they've made something like real basic that like looks like garbage but is like really fun they're not going to sit there and pretend like, oh, you know, like, I've made this amazing work of art. They, they, I'm sure that they are completely 100% self-aware. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll admit just like watching it, like, sometimes feels a little entrancing. It is, like yeah. Getting, getting lost in it. Yeah, and I don't even have, like, I didn't evolve my weapons, like, pretty uh, thoroughly here, either. Yeah, this, like, usually pretty, it's, you can get the, the mediocre run. Well, I mean, it's it's exactly what it needs to be. Uh, but you can, sometimes you can just make the, see, I'm just, so what I'm going to do right here is I'm just going to set it to always choose random level up, because now that I've maxed out everything by their base level now i'm like like limit breaking them and i'm just gonna oh. set it to always be random so i don't even have to hit any buttons for the rest of the run except for when i pick up a treasure chest and most of the time it's money so i can just i could you, i, you I could smoke should... a cigarette and play this game if i smoke <laughs> 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 you know you could do you could you can do literally anything with the other hand I mean, I don't know. I think you should play this not... I uh, I think you should play it in docked mode more often because you can just play it with one Joy-Con. Yeah. yeah. I think that'd be... I think that'd be pretty nice. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it basically, you're saying they are the opposite of every modern-day AAA company? Like, yeah, pretty much, I would say. I mean, there is nothing AAA about this. No. And like they're they are well aware. They are well aware. I wonder what what game engine this is made on. I thought people were saying it was Unity. Maybe maybe they the, the money this is making is why Unity wanted to to, to do that. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Empire Survivors. I'm looking at it now. It looks like this came out. This came out almost a year ago. Oh, oh no! They they made a mistake. They switched to Unity, so it was on an engine called Phaser. And then version 1.6 onwards, it's been on Unity. Oh, weird. Maybe they'll switch it back. Well, I I mean, isn't aren't they uh, doing something now? Like, are they rolling back some of the changes and stuff? Well, yes. They they said that you um you get to keep the terms of service for whatever version of Unity you were. Which, like, the fact that they thought that it was, like, at all okay to, like, be like, oh, you're old, the terms of, the what you expected to be responsible for paying us when you made your game, sorry, that's no longer the case. Like, that's, like, unbelievable. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, so as long as they don't go to a new version of Unity, then I guess this is fine. Yeah. I mean, I can't. Has your has your life bar like shifted like an, like? Is it gone down at all? No. This entire time. No. 
I mean, you can die. You know, like, but I and picked one, one of the items I picked is like Switch this. Switch OLED screen at all times. Um, one of the things that I picked up or that I like enhanced my character with is the uh, is the the Laurel, which is like makes it so you can take a bunch of hits. Uh, before your life starts to drain and it recharges. So, um... Oh, here we go. Now things are going to get real crazy, okay? I thought things were already crazy. Oh, I thought that... I thought it was going to be, um... I thought I was going to do, like, the gold rush. The gold rush makes things get, like, real nuts. What are all like the the blue sparkly spots on the ground? That's like my uh, my holy water weapon. Uh, they like fly in and make these fire spots. I mean, look, I've killed three thirty three thousand enemies so far in this level. How many? It says right at the top under under the life bar. See that number? Like it has like the skull. That's how many enemies oh. I've killed. On the level. Somehow, somehow that number seems way lower than I expected. Apparently, it's like I don't know how you achieve it, but like with certain characters, you can like there's achievements for uh, killing over a hundred thousand enemies in a level. Wow. But I'm hoping I will be able to. Live long enough to are, get... Are all the levels, like, mostly... Oh, the clock lancet, do I? Uh, Left-right scrolling, like this one? Or... No, no, it goes in all different directions. I forgot the clock lancet. That's going to screw me to, for lasting 33 minutes. Wait, 33 or thir I mean, 31 minutes, sorry. 31 uh, minutes? 31 minutes. The clock lancet, like, makes it so that you can freeze the enemy in place. I forgot to pick that up. I thought I did, but maybe I didn't. Oh well, I screwed it up. No achievements for me this this run. What a waste! What a waste. But who knows? Maybe I'll be able to tank through. See, my life bar went down a little bit. With all with all these like red numbers over the screen <laughs> now, now the compression is definitely starting to struggle. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a... <laughs> it's not unwatchable though by any means. Yeah, but I mean, it's just funny because like completely coherent. Like what what is going even on at this point? Like like who even cares about? I can you can turn off the numbers, but I think it's almost kind of hilarious. Oh yeah, I I think so too. <laughs> it's like like all the Dynasty Warrior games spin us on drugs. <laughs> yeah, in a way. Yeah. Made for... Like, just like a fraction of a percentage of the budget of one of those games, I'm sure. Yes. I mean, I suspect the budget of this game was this guy's free time. Yes. Which is, like, <laughs> paid off big time. Yeah, apparently, I'm sure. Oh, see, there we go. See, he's going to kill me. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's 30 minutes. I'm gonna, I can try to revive, but he's not. Nice. See, I messed up. I missed the clock lancet, so it's... Oh, so, so death kills you no matter what? It went, once you hit 30 minutes. But, you know, you try to re revive enough times. See, I'm not going to do it. I don't know. lives to survive but the clock so lands you, that you can it, so in can the end you, you, you die no matter what yeah yeah once what? you hit 30 minutes that stinks but Stop. apparently there's an unlock like one of the unlocks you can get is for an endless mode yeah well i don't want to be endless either i, w I want to survive well you can survive for endless amount of time I, I want to I want to survive for a certain amount of time and then to be patted on the back. Oh. So you well, it, it does. I mean, it gives you. 
but the fact that you look at look at that title screen. Look at that title screen. <laughs> Does that just like amaze you? That title screen. Uh yeah. See, so, okay, the... so I have 143 of the unlocks. Oh, let, let me show you like the different characters, and you can kind of figure out where they're inspired by. So, like this guy right here, he's he's Antonio's the guy you start with, and that's uh, obviously like like a like a Trevor Belmont. Sure. Um, but okay, so Pugnala, like that's Bayonetta. Oh, okay. Like you can play as a, this dog. Called Osol. Is, is that a panda? There's a panda. Yada Cavallo. <laughs> you can play as a uh, guitar playing succubus. Conchetta. <laughs> Kakiata. Cassiata. Play as a werewolf. This guy is another. Uh... You, you, can, you can play as the Grim Reaper if you want to. <laughs> There's no vampires in Vampire Survivor. What, what do you mean? I don't. I don't know. I just unlocked McCoy you Oni. Are, you can be a vampire. Yeah, this Baba Anna. I don't know. Like, there's just. Yeah, I mean, I can't can't make it up. I don't. I can't. I. Don't... <laughs> I, I. I cannot. Tell you. Um, let me just like pick a level. I'll just kind of show you like what. We should probably get off here if oh, I'm yeah. gonna yeah. actually get this video rendered. Oh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna it. play. But, but you know, like, where I can show you where you can go, like, uh, anywhere. So there's like like Mount Moon Spell. Like this this I got a map for this, and you can like see the whole map, see where things are. Hmm. But you see, this is Bayonetta. Oh, like, wow. That's quite a map. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the title screen. Is that the Bayonetta 2 cover art? And, like, now oh that you mention Oh, my gosh. It, what? You might be right. Basically. You might be right. I mean, that, but, yeah, it kind of is it. Yeah. I mean, they they know what they have made. <laughs> I mean, look at this. Look at this. Like, look at these options. And look at how like all everything's a different size. I mean, like it has like all these different fonts. Yeah, like everything's a different size. I mean, some of these sprites are like well animated. You know, but it is. It is. Listen, I I guarantee you that even the people who made this like. They say like, oh, it's a it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess, but you know, it's addicting and fun. And that's and that's. I mean, it's like the very def definition of do not judge a game by its graphics. Mm. You know. Anyways, uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful week. Look for the episode in like either tomorrow or the the following morning. And uh, thank you to everybody who donated. And I hope everyone has a great week. And we'll see you next Sunday for the 10-year anniversary stream. That's all right. 10 years. 10 years. All right, everybody. Good night and take care.